Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We've got another big broadcast lined up for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. It is Thursday, the fifth day of January 2012. We're almost through the uh, work week of the first week of the new year. Before you know it, it'll be 2013. And all those folks that said it was going to be the end of the world, they're going to look pretty silly. Uh, I hope they turn out to be wrong. Uh, we've got U.S. troops deploying Jerusalem Post is calling it not not a exercise, but a deployment to Israel. And uh, I've got a whole stack of newspaper articles saying it's in preparation for what could be a U.S.-Israel uh, uh, joint strike on Iran. And Iran, of course, in the last two days repeatedly has said, if your aircraft carriers come back through the Strait of Hormuz, which is international waters, uh, it's like a Saudi Arabia on one side, Iran on the other for a few miles, but it's 12 miles at its, its shortest point. It's about, I don't know, eight miles or so through the middle. If you come through those waters, this, you're not going to like what happens. This is your only warning. Uh, so Iran is, I guess, beginning to realize that it may be a foregone conclusion that they're going to be attacked and or they're crazy. I mean, I go back to, if we ought to re-pull this because I keep mentioning it. Uh, headline, head of Iranian intelligence says he will take war to streets of Tel Aviv. And that was press TV, Jerusalem Post, but the official Iranian news agency said that a few months ago. And I, when I saw it, it was so uh, such a dangerous statement uh, that I had to go and make sure the Iranians actually said it because the media has exaggerated things and, and, and blown things out of proportion on occasion with the Iranians to make the case for war look good. And he didn't just say he'd attack Tel Aviv. They said, we'll also take it to the United States and your major cities. That is asking. That is begging to have uh, the West attack you. And then if, if Iran does activate some type of sleeper cells, that plays right into the government's hands while they implode the economy, while they bring in all this tyranny, while they set up all these TSA checkpoints that they've tripled the funding for this year, they passed it last year, uh, the NDAA, the arrest of citizens, this whole military-industrial complex takeover is aided massively by a war with Iran and if Iran responds with, with asymmetrical warfare here in the United States. And yes, uh, there is the report. Iran threatened street war in Tel Aviv. Iran has threatened a street war in Tel Aviv and in the U.S. and Europe should its nuclear sites be targeted. Please print that for me. Thank you. I think that was a Iranian uh, official government news source, but I, I couldn't read the fine print. So just I'll I'll have that after the break once they've printed it for me. Now, continuing along those lines, we're going to break all this down more after the break. DHS offers uh, officers armed with semi-automatics set up unannounced ID checkpoint. Did you hear that? To get into a building. Uh, and I told you the first beta testing we've seen has been in Massachusetts, New York, Florida, Texas, Arizona, California. Now Michigan, but it's always been in those five states for about six years. TSA checkpoints on highways, TSA checkpoints at NFL football games, uh, high school football games, rock and roll concerts, uh, neighborhoods. And, and, and we point to local news reporting and, and have national media say we were insane it wasn't happening. Well, now uh, the uh, papers in Florida are reporting and our report is up on uh, Dr Drudge Report right now, DrudgeReport.com. DHS officers armed with semi-automatics set up unannounced ID checkpoint. 
This is actually happening. And it's going to, according to what they've said they're going to do, it's going to be everywhere. Every building. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They sow pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. They put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to MySolarBackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, to say that things are heating up in 2012 is another understatement. The quickening, the climax towards global conflict, open world government being established by the big six megabanks, open police state dictatorships, uh, crackdown on free speech in Europe, the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. It is all being announced. The corrupt oppressors, the tyrants, the would-be controllers are attempting a strategy of hiding in plain view. They're not sneaking around behind the scenes constructing their new world order and their technological terrors. They are now openly flaunting them because they're entering a phase of open deployment. War, checkpoints, military on the streets, political dissidents being arrested. Now, they are announcing all of this so that people that are intelligent and informed get scared. If you buy into the fear and stop exercising your free speech and bow to these people, it's over. The good news is this is so outrageous that even people that work for ABC, Fox, CNN, uh, Comedy Central, The Daily Show, 
are coming out and saying this is really horrible. Obama is really bad. This is super creepy. In fact, I forgot to tell the guys. Let's uh, play some clips later um, of that uh, Daily Show that you showed me, Jaron, from Tuesday night. Showed to me yesterday where they you know, break down the nuances, the multi-layers of Obama's deception. You can go watch uh, our breakdown of it hours after he signed it last Saturday night on December 31st. It's now got over 400,000 views. It should have 10 million views, but uh, it's titled Obama Signs Martial Law Bill. But I have a new video coming out that we'll post uh, in about an hour at Infowars.com. We're going to premiere it here for radio slash prisonplanet.tv viewers. Uh, this detailed full-spectrum analysis uh, of the NDAA that uh, Aaron Dykes and I put together. Um, again, Aaron just does a superlative job with these uh, uh, video reports we do. He, his videos are undoubtedly uh, the, 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 the most popular that we put out. Uh, but the entire crew is just excelling uh, with what they're doing, and we are moving to hire some more video editors and more reporters uh, and moving more and more people into host positions. I intend to, once I officially forge the nightly news uh, into the weapon against the globalists, we're, 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 we're smithying it right now. You know, uh, they're in the uh, Festus or, or Vulcan volcano. If you're a new listener, I'm not talking about Vulcans on Star Trek, you know, the Vulcan is the god, the Roman god of forging weapons, I guess called Festus by the Greeks. And just like Jupiter is the Roman name of uh, the Greek god Zeus, but I now digress for the New York Times, <sighs> writes an article saying that I actually uh, you know, believe that uh, we're Vulcans. Now, the point is we are forging and beta testing the nightly news. And when it's done in the next three, four months, and we start deploying it towards television systems, not just uh, PrisonPlanet.tv, and then where we put it out on the web for millions a week. Uh, we will then also start trying to start some other news shows, maybe some weekly special reports. There's a lot we want to do here, <clears throat> thanks to your support. Uh, if I sound a bit hesitant <clears throat> from time to time today, I uh, told the story, um, I guess Tuesday, of how Saturday I was at the gym uh, trying to do high repetition weightlifting to try to lose weight and tone, uh, you know, to really get in the gym and lose some weight. As you can see, I am losing quite a bit of weight. It's up to 25 pounds now in the last month and a half. Uh, and because uh, I'm, you know, committed to take the radio show to the next level, the TV show to get my health in order, try to get closer to God, you know, everything in 2012 to up our game. <laughs> but when you first don't succeed, try, try again. I was lifting weights and... Uh, trying to go for 30 reps with just 120 pounds on incline. And I was, it was tough to get it up you know, on some of those final reps, so I exploded, and my, I guess my hands were tired because it was the last exercise I was doing at the gym was you know, five sets of uh, 20 to 30 reps on the uh, incline, and it just came out of my hands. And before I could even think to try to catch it, it came out of my hands and fell on my chest. And I thought it felt like a horse had kicked me. I've, I've heard those descriptions of a horse kicking. It was, like, it was probably 10 times the pain of, you know, when you're a kid and somebody jumps on your stomach or punches you in the stomach in the bread basket, you can't breathe for 30 seconds. It was more like a minute and a half. I thought I was dying. I got the weight off my chest, went outside. People were kind of looking at me, went out the side door, leaned against the wall. It took me about a minute to even be able to get air in. I was like, am I going to die? Did I break something? I was just... I was like, imagine what a really a serious car wreck's like when you smash all your ribs. Because this was nothing compared to something like a car wreck, what I've seen other people go through. And finally, I got air in my lungs, and I went back in. I thought, maybe if I just do some light back exercises over here, because it was also hurt my back because it compressed my entire rib cage. It hurt in the front and in my spine in the back. I thought, maybe if I do some you know, light weights, and I couldn't even do that. And I went home, felt a lot better, took some Advil. And um, I um, went ahead and jogged. And my dad came over. You know, he's a dentist, but he took a you know, basic anatomy. And he felt, he said, yeah, I, I can feel it move a bit. It's, it's, it's cracked a lot. And he said, that's going to really hurt in four or five days. When it starts to heal, your body's not going to want you to be moving around and try to form a cast. And so unless you lay in a bed for a month, uh, that's going to get really painful. Boy, is he right. It has now gotten to the point where I have to make myself go through pain 
to breathe deep or it's like this asthma like or anxiety attack like feeling of not being able to breathe it's really weird so if you just see me breathing deep i'm not doing buddhist meditation i am just trying to breathe here i can't imagine i remember my grandmother i was uh, living with them for a year because i'd gotten into so much trouble in, in as a sophomore in high school and i was a uh, just out of school basically for a year. That's why I was in high school for five years. And I was there when she got the call from a biopsy that she had lung cancer. And uh, I remember her going, well, that's it. I've got lung cancer. And then I remember her all healthy, happy, you know, beautiful. And I remember a few weeks later, she gets that surgery. They cut part of her lung out and it you know, ends up basically paralyzing part of her face for a while. Nerve problems probably caused a small stroke. And then that causing, you know, many years of her degenerating down until she died. But I remember living with her for a few months and I moved back to Dallas after she had that. And I remember her sitting there and just going and not saying why she was doing it, breathing in real slow and just sitting there with a cup of coffee. And then I'm and then later I was asked her and she said, oh, it's just excruciating to even breathe. But you have to make yourself breathe. Imagine that like a hundred times the pain I'm in right now. <laughs> that people go through when they're in car wrecks or they have or they, or they have the lung 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 or heart surgery. I was talking to Marcos Morales, one of our great video editors uh, here for the nightly news and uh, graphics people. He was talking about his dad had triple bypass open heart surgery, and he said that it, you know just for months if he, he just breathing was torture. And I was just thinking about you better enjoy your life. Now, because every moment is a precious moment in your life. Every moment is wonderful. And and enjoy when you're healthy. Enjoy when you're not in excruciating pain. Enjoy the good times in life. <laughs> it's like that car song about uh, let the good times roll. And uh, America is a great country full of wonderful people. The world is a wonderful planet, full of great people, so much beauty, so much art, so many good things, so many innocent things to defend. And you're not gonna escape pain in this life. You're not gonna escape conflict. You're not going to es escape it. We all need to face our fear. We all need to get to that point and, and uh, basically uh, prepare ourselves for the struggles that are coming in life, whether it's children that get sick or children that die, they say that's the worst thing in the world, uh, or brain cancer or car wrecks or whatever it is. But then you see the globalist <coughs> on the other side uh, of that equation. They enjoy the pain. They don't just not have feelings for others. They hate life. And they hate innocence, and they revel in horrifying people. They they revel in terrorizing women and children. They get off on just horrible abominations. And it's up to us that 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 can recognize good from evil to protect the general public who is sheep-like and has been basically brought up in a coma-like state watching television in this culture of death who have no idea what's happening to them. It's up to us to not be angry at them and be cynical and call them stupid sheeple and stuff like I've done a thousand times. It's really up to us to reach out to them and realize how sad they are. But the unbelievable evil of injecting children worldwide with live cancer viruses, HIV, hepatitis, uh, Polio, it was, I mean, it was in the news again, just yesterday we covered it, uh, killing kids in, in, in secret illegal uh, vaccine trials. I mean, knowing that Gardasil kills people and doesn't even protect them from human papillomavirus, knowing it uh, consciously, just, just to see them knowing that Ritalin causes deformities, shrinkage in the brain, all sorts of uh, health problems, uh, heart expansion, um, to know that what Prozac is so deadly, to know it's a toxic psychotropic and they're pushing it on kids, to just know that they're doing this, it's not a question of if, but 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 when we stand up to these people. Now, again, I, I wasn't going to talk about this, but now I obviously had to talk about the, uh, the rib cage thing because it's too obvious. But I'm going to stay on air today. 
and I'm going to stay on air tomorrow because this, this pain is not that bad. And if my grandmother could walk around with something 10 times, 20 times more painful, then, then I can certainly do a radio show with this. So I'm not going to wimp out. I'm going to be here. Uh, okay, enough about that. The news coming up. HempUSA.org has a revolutionary wonder food for detoxing the body and rebuilding the immune system. Micro plant powder can help unclog arteries and soften heart valves while removing heavy metals, virus, fungus, bacteria, and parasites. Plus, it cleans and purifies the blood, lungs, stomach, and colon. Keep your body clean with micro plant powder. Visit us at HempUSA.org or call 908-691-2608 today. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light System system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653 or order online at goberkey.com. That's goberkey.com today. Ready to save while getting prepared? Then you're ready for the winter sale at 21stCenturyGoods.com. Take advantage of the incredible savings on all items at 21stCenturyGoods.com. Portable AM, FM, and shortwave radios from 1995. American Red Cross emergency radios and Cato radios from 2895. Solar lanterns from 2295. Solar flashlights, two for 1695. Hand crank LED hurricane lanterns and flashlights from 895. Be sure to check out the flexible solar panels to power your emergency and survival gear. Every order over $75 will receive a solar-powered flashlight absolutely free. So get prepared this winter by visiting 21stCenturyGoods.com. Spelled the number 2, the number 1, S-T, CenturyGoods.com, 21stCenturyGoods.com. Or call 866-999-8422. That's 866-999-8422. 21stCenturyGoods.com. Power up your survival. If you don't want to be unprepared, BePrepared.com. BePrepared.com is the official site of Emergency Essentials, the 24-year leader in emergency preparedness. Why do they lead? Because of best value, best selection, and their low price guarantee. Take advantage of BePrepared.com's inventory reduction sale going on right now. Save up to 43% on food storage and emergency supplies. Up to 43%. For example, be prepared with freeze-dried peaches and strawberries, freeze-dried roast beef, 180 two-piece first aid kits, nine meal MRE kits, a waterproof multifunction emergency LED flashlight for only $3.99 and much more. BePrepared.com while supplies last. But hurry, sale ends when inventory's gone. Call 800-999-1863. That's 800-999-1863. Or online at BePrepared.com. BePrepared.com. Best value, best selection, and low price guarantee. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. All right, we've got uh, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts joining us coming up to talk about the incredible escalations towards open war with Iran and what that'll lead to. The unprecedented power grabs, even mainline analysts on, quote, mainline television are saying it's an unprecedented power grab, court fight over recess appointments, almost certain Obama to violate a federal law and the Constitution to do this. Huge power grab. 
and he violates the congressional laws the Democrats, by the way, uh, rammed through more than a decade ago. On top of it, uh, we've got uh, incredible economic news on the job front. And coming up in the next segment, I want to illustrate that we can fight back against the National Defense Authorization Act. There's a reason Obama first said he would uh, not sign it, that he would veto it. That way people thought, oh, well, it's not going to pass. We don't have to fight it. Then he could also then quietly sign it, try to confuse people, and then not have a political fight over it. They don't want to have a debate about, oh, you can secretly arrest us. You're doing what Hitler did. I mean, this really illustrates everything we've warned, that they've gotten rid of posse commentatus, that they're going to have military on the streets. So when we come back, I'm going to air this special report. And, 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 and before I get to that report, when we come out of the next segment, I'm going to break down uh, this big report that's also up at the Drudge Report, um, but it's also obviously at Infowars.com because it's our story. DHS officers armed with semi-automatics set up unannounced ID checkpoint in Florida. Papers, please, with submachine guns. And there it's happening everywhere with local police under their command. I mean, this is off the charts unconstitutional. Remember two years ago in Florida, the governor said, stop doing this. Families would pull up to the army, state police, dragging them out of cars, whole highway shut down. And Homeland Security said, John Warner Defense Authorization Act. We can take you out of office, Governor. We'll do what we want. I mean, this is total federal takeover. And people say, well, the feds can do that. Oh, really? The feds are run by foreign banks. You understand? We've been taken over. We are an occupied nation. But here it is. DHS officers armed with semi-automatic set up unannounced ID checkpoint in Leesburg, Florida. Here's another one. Big Brother Malls trigger privacy fight after installing equipment to spy on shoppers via their mobiles. This is already in place. You know, it's come out in mainstream news a decade ago that most malls have almost subliminal level audio under the mall music saying, buy, buy, happiness, you'll be happy when you buy. I mean, it's just we're under mind control. Just be, become aware of it. And then it's still hard to fight. But if you are naive and just say, no, nothing's happening, everything's fine, why do you think they want tyranny right now? Because this is a global financial implosion by design. This is being done by design. Now, of course, the biggest news of the day I'm going to get into right now and more when, with Dr. Paul Craig Roberts uh, when he joins us coming up. Oil prices move steadily upward as EU prepares Iran embargo. And Iran says they will take that as an act of war. Half their gasoline, 51 percent, is imported. They got plenty of oil, but not the refineries that are always getting blown up by Al Qaeda terrorists who work for guess who on record, the criminals that run our country. You're like Al Qaeda works for people that run our government on record. That's one thing really freaking out the neocons when their callers calling and go, "Why is our government putting Al Qaeda in charge of Libya?" They go, "That's because." Obama's a secret Muslim. Oh, yes, yes, he's a secret Muslim. And I'm an Easter bunny. He's a CIA globalist. They use the Muslim extremist to overthrow countries. By the way, it's in the news that Hosni Mubarak is facing the death penalty. And uh, globalists back to judges. that There's a worse tyranny in charge there now. And Mubarak wouldn't follow every order to get behind World War III and attack Iran. He wouldn't get behind that. So guess what? They're now going to have a kangaroo trial and execute their old, their old uh, minion. There's no honor amongst thieves, my friends. So uh, top news here. U.S. troops going to Israel. The Jerusalem Post is not calling an exercise, but a deployment uh, ahead of possible war with Iran. Continuing the war on Iran, the deployment of thousands of U.S. troops to Israel the integration of U.S.-Israel command structures ahead of a joint strike. Saudi's Gulf states on war alert for early U.S.-Iran clash. Deb Gavile, that's Israeli intel connect. Continuing. Libyan leader warns of civil war after Tripoli gun battles. Exactly what the globalists wanted. They want to wreck society. U.S. commander visits Israel to finalize missile drill. Jerusalem Post, it's on.
It's on, and the TSA's coming with machine guns to street corners near you. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation. The criminal offshore cartel hell bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control. Your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5 Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5 Generaled system preparing to go into collapse. See the generals gathered in their masses. In their masses. Just like witches at black masses. Just like witches at black masses. It is a sacrifice. It is a religion. Evil minds that plot destruction. They are sorcerers of death's construction. They are the individuals that worship the power of evil. In the fields of bodies burning. As the global preemptive war machine keeps turning. And how do the globalists invade and attack nations? They finance radicals to then have a pretext to later destroy them. And I told you eight, nine months ago when this whole war against Libya began that they would put al-Qaeda in charge and then later have a civil war and use that as a pretext to bring in more NATO forces and fully occupy the nation permanently as a African base to invade all of Africa. How did I know that? Because that was public Pentagon 
plans, and we covered it, in the Obama deception, now out for a little over three years. People watch Obama deception and they say, was this just made? Because this has been out since March, early March of 2009. How did you do this? Because the globalists operate in the open. They have the disinformation they give the general public. Just like they would say 15 years ago, the NSA didn't exist. They would say that on the news. And that they would have national media attack myself and others if you talked about Echelon and spying on citizens. And when they were ready, they said, yeah, it's been around for 30 years. We spy on everything you do. Mm -hmm. Remember smart meters uh, five years ago in, Calif in California, people were saying, hey, these smart meters can control how hot our house is, how cold it is. You can track us. You can get data out of our house. You can tell what we're doing. Oh, shut up, conspiracy theorists. We never do that. Now they openly admit it once it's deployed. And this will destroy our entire future. This will destroy people that serve the military, police, bureaucrats. All of you have to decide what side you're on. And they're now announcing TSA more, uh, is setting up more and more checkpoints across the United States. And we're going to break that down after this piece. Uh, here is uh, my report on the NDAA. It is not too late to turn it around. You cannot legalize tyranny. They may say this is a law, but it's a fraud. Here it is. Under the provisions, would it be possible that an American citizen then could be declared an enemy combatant and sent to Guantanamo Bay and detained indefinitely? They said it couldn't happen here. The administration asked us to remove the language which says that U.S. citizens and lawful residents would not be subject to this section. There would never be troops on the streets of America. There would always be due process. And when they say, I want my lawyer, you tell them, shut up. Your time is get a lawyer. You're an enemy combatant. It was the conspiracy theorists that warned that there was a plan to overthrow our republic and use the military against the people. But FEMA camps have been built that citizens could be secretly arrested and disappeared. I want that person to be terrified about what's going to happen to them in American custody. And now NDAA 2012 is law. It did happen here. Please know what will come your way. Death, detention, prosecution. It's illegitimate. It's a fraud. It's tyranny in your face. The only question is, will the people of the United States let this tyranny now be put into action? It's one thing to pass an unconstitutional law. It's another thing to actually implement it. The globalists have bitten off more than they can chew. The Republic is rising, and the spirit of 1776 flies proudly on our banners. It's time for everybody out there watching to have a gut check and to decide what side are you on. Do you stand with our constitutional republic? Or do you stand with the corrupt politicians that have been bought and sold a hundred times by offshore megabanks that are conquering this country through fraud? The reason the National Defense Authorization Act was rammed through Congress and the reason President Obama treacherously and traitorously signed it is because the power structure, the ruling class, is scared of the people. They know that we're waking up to the private Federal Reserve banking cartel. They know that we're waking up to secret arrest and torture. They know that we know that offshore banks have taken over this country through fraud and signed us on to over a thousand trillion dollars of fraudulent garbage derivatives paper. They know the Ponzi scheme is coming down. And so they rammed through the NDAA. And Obama said that he was going to veto it so that he wouldn't take the political pressure. Then he signed it in the final hours of 2011 when he thought everybody wasn't paying attention and was partying on New Year's Eve. And he did that because crimes are committed in the dark. They don't want their open tyranny to be a wake-up call to people. They want to silently have our republic go into that long night. They want to stab this country in the back when nobody's watching. There's a problem. I'm watching. Ron Paul's watching. You're watching. And we're involved. And like Paul Revere before us, we are warning people worldwide.
just look at the NDAA and its passage, all the lies. Oh, at first it didn't affect citizens. Now they admit it does. A global declaration of war against all countries. Congress handing that power to the president, making him a dictator. Secret arrest of citizens, torture, indefinite detention. Then the senators came out who authored it and said, you bet it affects citizens. We want you to be scared. And he went further and said, don't criticize us. Obama demanded this be in the legislation. The ACLU and others went to Obama and said, did you really do this? And they said, yes. That's how bad this deception has gotten, where they want to have their tyrannical cake and eat it too. But why are they hiding the fact that it affects citizens? Why are they hiding the fact that Obama signed it because they want to do their crimes secretly, because they know what they're doing is wrong. And they want to now implement this draconian classical tyranny behind the scenes ahead of the next staged event, the next false flag, the next big war. They want to roll this out with test cases, with unsavory types of people like Anwar al Awlaki, a U.S. citizen they claim that they killed extrajudicially. So that they can sell the public on the idea of people disappearing into black holes. That's why it's so important now more than ever to get the truth about this Defense Authorization Act to everyone you know. In my 17 years on air, I have never seen an issue shake people out of their sleep, out of their social trance like this has done. The apologies via email and comments on our websites are coming in by the thousands. Radio talk show hosts are apologizing. Congressional aides are calling me and apologizing. Because everything that we warned the public about is now unfolding. Not just the establishment of military operations domestically. Not just secret arrest and torture. Not just new wars. But the warrantless wiretapping, the, the TSA checkpoints on the highways, it's all happening. And the system wouldn't have rammed this legislation through and exposed their despotic game plan if they weren't accelerating their timetable. War with Iran, economic collapse by design, it's all coming. But at this critical juncture, when the globalists are uncloaking themselves, they are extremely weak. Because now they are naked in front of us. They are brazenly there proving to everyone that they are criminals. It is treason to overthrow the Constitution and Bill of Rights. They passed legislation before saying black people weren't humans. They could pass legislation uh, saying that uh, white people are slaves or something. It doesn't make it so. All laws that are repugnant and unconstitutional are null and void. Marbury versus Madison and thousands of other rulings. Tyrants take over by degree. And the system is simply testing the public now to see if they can get away with this legislation first and then to see piecemeal if they can get away with it incrementally. They're not gonna come snatch you out of your house overnight. They're not gonna activate the now public FEMA camps overnight. They're going to sell it as something that they're rolling out to save and safeguard society. They're going to script every facet of it. And that's why we've got to be there at every point, confronting them, pointing out their fraud, pointing out the true history, and decrying what they're doing, just like our ancestors, Paul Revere, and our founding fathers did. So I am upset that they did pass the NDAA. It shows what tyrants and just how corrupt and ruthless they are. Can you imagine what's coming next? You notice things just get crazier and crazier now. I'm upset about that, but there's a silver lining in every cloud. This is waking people up and has really thrown the gauntlet down in everyone's face. It's time to make a decision. It's time to get involved. It's time to warn everyone you know. It's time to realize we've got a two-party dictatorship engage in insider trading and every other f form of corruption you can imagine who think that they're going to be able to not only continue this corruption but expand it that's the thing about corrupt governments they get more corrupt or you bring them to justice they get more emboldened 
And then when they've gone so far that the public wakes up, they always try to come in and clamp down on the public. And they've always got excuses, foreign enemies, domestic terrorists. It's happened over and over again. Incredible despotism has come to every nation in history. And now it's coming here. We know history. And so if we educate others and stand tall, we are not doomed to repeat it. So let's take this information with the NDAA and all the lies associated with it and use it as a teaching moment. And not just a moment of instruction, but a moment of awakening. It's now time for those of you out there that grovel to the establishment and go along with whatever the system does and make excuses for it to realize you are not part of the power structure. You haven't chosen to join the New World Order, and so you're on the winning team. Less than one-tenth of one percent from our research is actually part of this New World Order system and stands to gain from it. That's what even Rothkop, head of the Kissinger Group, wrote a few years ago in his book, Superclass, Admitting a Global Government Run by 6,000 Top Technocrats. You're not one of the technocrats that The Economist magazine pushes and promotes as our saviors, who are actually the authors and engineers of all of our problems. You are going to have your standard of living lowered. You're going to have your freedoms lowered. And just because you've served the system doesn't mean that you won't be devoured by it. The good news is, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. There is a giant awakening happening. And now is the time. People's minds are fertile to hear the truth. They have never been more open to be given the true information about history and about the New World Order and about what's happening. So I'm begging all of you to be the leaders you are and to reach out to everyone you can with banner hangs, local newsletters, talk radio shows, calling into talk radio, going and speaking at your city council, running for Congress, running for mayor, running for sheriff, because resistance is victory. We've got to intensify the buzz that we see around Ron Paul and Liberty to every issue and every area. And all of us need to be like Ron Paul. All of us need to be like other patriots that have come before us. It's just like in the movie Spartacus, which is based on a true story of slave revolt in southern Italy against the nation state of Rome. And they're looking for Spartacus, and they're looking for his body, they're trying to find him. And the slaves that they've captured start standing up and saying, I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. No, I'm Spartacus. It's Victor Hugo that said, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. They can't stop us all. And one cautionary note to enforcers of this system, military, police, and others that are being asked to engage in classical oppression of the American people. You're gonna be given plausible cover stories for doing what you're gonna be asked to do in the future. But remember, all of this was set up in the past 16 years or so. All of this was being covertly planned the derivatives, the banking takeover, all of this has been planned out. But because we have been aware of it, we've got a serious jump on the globalist right now. Because we were there for decades warning people ahead of time, now we have a lot of credibility. And I wanna warn the power structure that this is not gonna be a cakewalk. The London Telegraph, the Associated Press, they're all reporting that in the month of December, more than 1.5 million FBI instant background checks were done, and on average, people were buying two guns or more. We're talking about three million guns sold in the month of December, an all-time record. And the purchasing of guns is only accelerating. I saw surveys where the public was asked why they're buying guns, and the majority said because of economic collapse, because of social unrest, and we don't trust the government. The system's iron fist is not going to work against an armed population that understands the score. And so I want to challenge the global controllers to rethink what they're doing and to look at history and to pull back and to realize that you are not in a good position. Even if you stage some big false flag terror attacks, the people are awakened to you and are now aware of what you're doing. And the American people, if you do launch this civil war operation in the U.S., are going to ensure that the controllers, not the low-level minions, are brought to justice. We need to be reaching out to police and military now 
and asking them to make the choice to join the Republic in the spirit of 1776 to peacefully bring back our country and to bring these criminals to justice. We do not need to be played off against each other. This is part of the globalist plan and needs to be averted. Tyranny is here. It's up to you to face it and to take action against it through peaceful ways. Let us work now while the sun still shines so that if we do go into that dark night of true, hardcore tyranny, we would have done everything we could beforehand to avert what's coming. But I know from history, many times tyrannies are diffused if the public is warned by patriots. And we've got a good chance of doing that right now. I'm Alex Jones, signing off from the front lines of the info war. The websites are infowars.com and prisonplanet.tv. Please tell your friends and family to tune into the radio show every weekday from 11 to 2 central. The free audio streams are at infowars.com where we break down this information in more detail. All right, we're going to come back and get into the uh, checkpoints expanding across the country run by the TSA. I'll also give you the title of that video. We're about to post it at infowars.com for viral distribution in the resistance as we awaken our fellow humans planet-wide. Stay with us. Key data straight ahead. Big Berkey water filters are in high demand. Storable foods are also in high demand. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has always kept our focus on the Berkey water filter products. But increasingly, our customers have been asking for storable foods. After months of research, BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com now offers great-tasting, long-lasting, storable foods. These ready-to-eat meals are packed in airtight nitrogen pouches. All you do is just add water. And because they're sealed so well, they come with a 25-year shelf life. Combined Combine our Berkey water filters, which are powerful enough to purify treated, untreated, or even stagnant pond water with our storable foods, and you have a winning combination. Remember, we offer free shipping on every order over $50, and GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY. That's BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com or call 877-99-BERKEY today. Did you know nuclear radiation is still spewing out of the melted down reactors in Fukushima, Japan, and making its way across the entire U.S. continent, contaminating the air, water, and food? Dangerously high levels of radiation are a reality here. As a result, radiation poisoning is a distinct possibility for anyone living in the U.S., unless you do something to protect yourself. How? With Liquid Zeolite from RestoreYourHealthNow.com. Without a doubt, Liquid Zeolite is by far the best product to remove radiation from your body. It safely removes toxins and heavy metals, boosts energy levels, and promotes a strong immune system. Liquid Zeolite is so powerful it was used to clean up contamination in Chernobyl, yet so gentle you won't even know you're taking it. Liquid Zeolite comes with a money-back guarantee, but is only available at RestoreYourHealthNow.com. Learn how to get free bottles of Liquid Zeolite by calling 800-880-9976. That's 800-880-9976. Or go to RestoreYourHealthNow.com. That's RestoreYourHealthNow.com. Digestive health is the key to wellness and elimination of toxins. That bears repeating. Digestive health is the key to wellness and elimination of toxins. And Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse is the key to digestive health. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic, strong enough to cleanse, gentle enough to use every day. Pro-EM-1 is dairy, wheat, and soy free, contains all natural and certified organic ingredients, contains no preservatives or animal products, supports a healthy digestive and immune system, supports weight loss, improves absorption of food nutrients, aids in controlling yeast infections, is never freeze-dried, and uses three groups of live, viable, beneficial microbes to cleanse and remove toxins. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, Terraganics.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Pro-EM-1, the raw probiotic.
We die for the system. All right, here's what I want to do. I want to run through some more of the news in the next segment or so, but I do want to take your calls before Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, former head of the De of policy at the Department of Treasury, uh, joins us at the bottom of the next hour. I'd like to get your uh, breakdown and view on the special report we just aired. I'd like to get your take on the fact that they've gone from saying they might attack Iran to selling the idea that it's a foregone conclusion as that military buildup in Kuwait, Israel, Afghanistan, uh, Saudi Arabia, and other nations accelerates. I've talked to military sources, and they say it's on. Uh, they were even thinking about doing it uh, late last year, but now it's going to happen sometime before the election. So we are certainly trying to avert that happening. But we do need, we do need to discuss exactly what it's going to mean and what is going to unfold uh, if this crisis goes live. And they're certainly moving towards that. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. 800-259-9231. And we will get you up and on the air today. We can also talk about Obama's unprecedented power grab with these recess appointments I'm going to get into uh, a bunch of uh, high-tech technology news, including uh, top radiation doctor says TSA naked body scanners can cause cancer. But a whole bunch of them come out. And this is out of the Florida Sun Sentinel. Uh, Natural News is reporting on that. Uh, but the TSA is told it's good for them. Because they tell the troops DU is good for them now. Oh, don't worry about it. Uh, this is the level of deception we're dealing with. Now, the video slash audio report that we just premiered here that's powerful audio-wise, but really powerful when you can see it, is key to alert Americans to what we face and how our own military is being trained and turned against us, along with giant federal security forces who've been taught total disdain for the Bill of Rights and Constitution. I've run into the Viper teams in New York back when they were beta testing them, and they bug their eyes out at old ladies, they, they search bags, they scream at people. Uh, they stand around like they're like they're out of a comic book of bad guys, because you know, they, and, and and sit there with their guns, looking back and forth like terrorists are everywhere. I mean, you've got to be mentally ill to think that you know the, the threat is so imminent. And they they find little kids, men that are basically little kids who want to play army against us, the people. And this is this happens in every other country. It's happening here. We've got to turn this around. And the title of the article and the video going up in minutes at Infowars.com is NDAA is a hoax. You cannot legalize tyranny. And I'll go and I break it down in the video. You can say black people are slaves again. I don't care if you have a law, they're not. Just like you can have a law saying people can abort babies. It's always been illegal until now, and it should be illegal. They go, well, what if it's life-threatening? They've always gone in and done surgery if the woman's going to die. That's not called an abortion. It's called an emergency procedure. Totally different. Very, very simple. It's, it's, it's incredible how they play mind games with people. So a crime is a crime. The government could pass a law saying they can, you know, use kids for skeet practice. Or, or they can take your house and make you their slave. It isn't a law. It's a fraud. It's a hoax. We need to explain this to people and form a movement against it. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com or give them a call at 877-327-0365. 
That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, we are now into the second hour in 30 minutes. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts joins us to break down uh, the fact that U.S. troops are being deployed for possive, uh, possible military uh, action backing up Israel in an attack on Iran. We're going to be breaking all of that down. I've also got a lot of uh, economic news I want to go over. I also want to look at General Motors deal moves electric car development to China, a shakedown. It's like that with every one of these bailouts. You pay to move it to Brazil or China. These are globalists that hate America that run our country. And who want to use our tax money to help them dominate the globe. Have people figure this out yet? We're going to be getting into that and a lot more coming up. And we also have uh, Greg Hunter, a reporter, joining us to look at uh, evidence of election fraud in Iowa ahead into New Hampshire and other primaries. Uh, the toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. Let's go ahead and uh, go to some of your calls. Jim in Texas, welcome, sir. Hey, Alex, it's great to be on with you again. It's great to have you. Hey, I wanted to comment on the Iran situation and two other things real quick, if I can get them in. Sure. Uh, first off, uh, my opinions don't reflect that of the Department of Defense. I have worked in military intelligence active duty. I'm a combat veteran. Um, I'm currently in the National Guard right now, but uh, my views on Iran are open source, and uh, the, they can be heard in all the intelligence communities. Uh, this is an attack we've been getting ready for for quite some time. This is an attack that nobody in the military that I know wants to fight. And uh, it's, <laughs> it's everything you say is true, Alex. I can't really refute anything. And what is, from open source, what are you expecting the attack to be? A, a joint strike? Or after Iran retaliates, then the U.S. gets involved? Well, of course, uh, we can look at our history as a nation uh, from the USS Maine, uh, to other instances, and uh, we can pretty easily deduct that we're probably going to uh, probably experience some sort of uh, quote unquote attack in the Strait of Hormuz and uh, then retaliate. Why would the that. Iranians, we know Cheney, it came out in New York Magazine, did admittedly want to paint up U.S. patrol boats, have Na Navy SEALs do a mock attack on a, on a ship that didn't know it was mock attack uh, and let the SEALs, you know, perhaps even get killed. Uh, to blame it on Iran, but why would Iran shoot their mouth off and say, don't come back through here with your carriers, this is your last warning? Why would their head of intelligence, uh, here it is out of uh, the Israeli Daily, uh, Israeli National News, but it was also in uh, Iranian uh, news, Iran threatens street war in Tel Aviv and U.S. I mean, I mean th th that's just doing exactly what the globalists want. And uh, we've got heroes like Fox Fallon, uh, who uh, saved us back in 2007. Um, and Iran is, uh, <laughs> their intelligence is spot on. They, they know what's going on. They know our history. And uh, it's a scary proposition that a lot of soldiers are afraid of. Uh, that's why you see so much support for Ron Paul. And uh, real quick, Alex, uh, there's a former Army Ranger captain named Antonio Bueller, uh, who lives in the Austin area. And uh, he's a strong advocate for Ron Paul, combat veteran. He was assaulted by the police on New Year's Eve. Uh, you can just go on YouTube and find that. Uh, the local Austin station has already done a story. Uh, it's on video, and uh, we need to support him. And uh, What happened to really Antonio that, uh, Bueller is his name? Yeah, he's a former, he's a West Point graduate, uh, former Army captain. Um, Tony and Bueller, what they, what they did to him? 
Uh, well, he was standing up for a girl who was uh, being ripped out of her car by Austin cops at the gas station. He was totally sober, and uh, he was taken down for, uh, you know, for protecting uh, a fellow citizen. Well, you know, stay there. I want to hear more about uh, what you're hearing about an attack on Iran and then this Tony Mueller report. Uh, we're pulling it up. I guess Jaron says he's already seen it, so that is a confirmed report. We'll get to other calls. Stay with us. You've heard Alex explain how the Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced colloidal silver solutions, yet many are unaware of the entire function of the Silver Lung System and how it has been designed to deliver your silver solutions anywhere in or on the body. My name is Mario Cifaldi, and I'm the developer of the Silver Lungs Generator. Not only does the Silver Lung System produce endless colloidal and ionic silver solutions, it also comes equipped with the proper applicators and devices needed to deliver your silver solutions directly to key target areas. This includes the eyes, ears, nose, lungs, topically to the skin, and orally for the digestive system. Be sure to watch our new seven minute video tour of the Silver Lung System at www.silverlungs.com to learn more about how the Silver Lung System works. As well, we are always ready to answer any questions you may have. That's www.silverlungs.com. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control. Your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. When you're out on the road, the last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee where they make blue diamond gusset jeans. They so pride in every stitch. Guarantee you love the way they fit. Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gusset's got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection. So you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. All right, we are now eight minutes into the second hour. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts joining us at the bottom of the hour to break down... Well, this news, the Israeli newspapers, uh, including Jerusalem Post, are reporting thousands of U.S. troops are being deployed, not going there for an exercise, but deployed. Uh, and there are other reports uh, here uh, out of uh, the New York Times, Debka File and others. Saudis Gulf states on war alert for early U.S.-Iran clash. Uh, here is the New York Times. Oil prices would skyrocket if Iran closed the Strait of Hormuz. Uh, it continues. The deployment of thousands of U.S. troops to Israel. The interrogation of U.S. Israeli uh, command structures. They're now integrating the U.S. Israeli command structures. We're going to be breaking all of that down. But going back to uh, Jim in Texas, uh, who was saying he was in Army Intelligence. Now he's in the National Guard. 
Uh, and he was saying this is all open source, what he was saying, but, but that, yes, they're getting ready to attack Iran. I want you to elaborate on that because that's what all my military sources are saying. And now it's pretty much mainstream you know, fact. They're just making it a foregone conclusion and getting ready for the domestic checkpoints and actually setting some up and passing the Martial Law Enabling Act, uh, NDAA, and uh, power grabbing with recess appointments. Uh, I mean, the government pretty much does whatever it wants because they think once they kick off something that could lead to World War III, uh, everything is going to be just fine. Now, uh, let's uh, go ahead and go back to Jim in Texas. Jim, finish your point on that and then tell us the story of what happened in Austin. Well, Alex, uh, you do a great job of spreading the truth. Uh, you know, Operation Ajax, Operation Northwoods, USS Liberty, Operation Gladio, they are all open source case studies that, you know, guys like myself and guys that I've served with in the uh, intelligence units, uh, we look at that and uh, it becomes more than obvious uh, to all of us what goes on behind the scenes. Now, a lot of us don't take part in stuff like that. We're there serving God and country. And uh, but these examples are are more than out in the open. Uh, you mentioned Cheney in 2007. Uh, Fox Fallon stood up to him. He basically got axed for that, just like uh, Lemitzer did under JFK for Northwoods. And you know, then you got guys like uh, Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Schaefer uh, that that works in the same branch of military intelligence I do, and uh, he does a great job uh, of you know sharing the open source uh, with everybody else. But then. You know, even some of the open source gets redacted when he writes that book. So uh, it's really a battle that that you are helping. You know, guys like me and guys like Lieutenant Colonel Anthony Schaefer win here in the uh, in the public eye. Well, that's right. Colonel Schaefer has come out and he has um, basically in, you know, endorsed Ron Paul's analysis uh, of what's happening with Iran, and and, and there's a reason that Benjamin Netanyahu had to fire the head of Mossad last year when he told him it would be, quote, a catastrophe to attack Iran. He said it again two weeks ago in the Jerusalem Post in Herats. Most Israelis, the polls are between 50, 60, 70 percent, but they, you know, they vary, but it's around half or more, depending on which poll you look at. They don't want this war. And, and it's not like the former head of the Mossad's a fan of Iran. They know that it's going to unify the entire Arab world. Uh, they're going to uh, end up basically uh, launching a giant attack through surrogates against Israel. But see, that's what some of the leadership in Israel and the U.S. and Europe want, because it'll be a diversion. The big crisis will be a diversion from the banker bailouts, the banking takeovers, the carbon taxes, the police state, the fast and furious. And it will allow them to take even more liberties because they know people tend to rally around the flag once a big war starts. I mean, you know, if our ships are getting blown up and there's just an all-out huge war, it won't be like the military just going in and killing a bunch of, you know, uh, starving Iraqis and then a few troops get killed. When the U.S. is really in a serious war with a lot of casualties, people tend to just say, well, I don't like the war, but we got to get behind them. And, we, and it's going to be horrible. They have maneuvered us into this position and, again, it's not our government. Foreign interests run our government. Globalists run our government. Globalists run Israel. And they want this new giant war with Iran. Uh, and I go back to Iran and the current mullahs being flown in by the CIA in 79. People are like, are you kidding? Yeah, just like al-Qaeda was given Libya. I mean, 20 years from now, we'll all be saying, you know, remember, Libya was given to al-Qaeda by NATO. People are like, oh, yeah, right. It's a fact. Folks know that now because it's been in the news. 20 years from now, people may not remember. But in 79, now 30-plus years ago, they brought them in. And they claimed there was double-crossing going on. But they used the same radicals to overthrow Mosaddegh in 53. So this could all just be saber-rattling. I mean, at a certain point, I don't think Iran works with the globalists. But I know with Iran-Contra, they got missiles and things, you know, and deals secretly. And our government used drug money, uh, cocaine money in the U.S. to be able to buy those weapons off record. That's all on record. So what do you think? What do your colleagues think uh, about what's going on? Well, uh, they're, they're scared to death that, you know, we might be called uh, to go to war with Iran. Because Iran, like you mentioned, it, it's not Iraq. It's not Afghanistan. Uh, it, it's a much different threat. Uh, 
they know what's going on. And, uh, you know, some of the, the toll that we've taken, uh, I tried to get on the other day when you had Dr. Doug Rocky on. Uh, one of my friends who, uh, I, I can't name his name, he doesn't want his story going out, but he's, uh, he hasn't even made it to 30 yet, and he's riddled with cancer. Uh, he's going to die. Uh, it started off as thyroid cancer. He's going to die. And uh, a lot of us, you know, we've been exposed to all sorts of depleted uranium. Uh, we slept in craters from uh, the first Gulf War that were just completely just, just laced with radiation. Uh, I've had stuff removed from my body. Uh, and, and what we have to understand as soldiers, if there's any soldiers out there listening to right now that still support some of these, these, these monsters like Gangrich or Santorum, uh, Draft Dodger Newt, uh, we have to understand that we are being led to slaughter. Uh, it, they don't care about us anymore. Guys like Dr. Doug Rocky, they, they, they give their life. How many operations does the guy have to, to you know, 30-some, uh, uh, and, and members of his team are dead? This is all going to happen to us, and if we don't stand up and become a vocal minority, uh, this country is, is going gonna, is gonna to go away. Well, I'll tell you, this DU issue, Jim, explains it all. When in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, I've researched the entire history of it, interviewed all the experts, not just Doug Rocky, who's the top expert, literally wrote the book for the Pentagon in the mid-90s on it, and the previous reports in the 80s, physicists, you name it. You know, what a couple PhDs. They would never let them use it. They had it as a byproduct of making atomic and hydrogen bombs. They were going to have to store it. And it wasn't up until the 90s or so that they went ahead, kind of like it took three tries for Rumsfeld to get aspartame approved. In the 60s, 70s, they failed. He got it approved and went 1980. Very toxic, but nothing compared to DU. But the point is, is that in, by, by the early 90s, they just went ahead and started using it as fork, forklift ballast, aircraft ballast, uh, weapon system, you know, tips, uh, armor piercing, all of this. But previous to that, they said you can never use this because it ignites in the barrel and it gives people slow kill dosages to, to use any of it. Now it's used at proving grounds everywhere. Now it's used all over the place. And it shows all these people that claim all day how they love the troops and don't say the war is wrong or I'll punch you in the nose. You know, don't say uh, that, um, that uh, killing somebody uh, you know, for oil or whatever is wrong, or I'll punch you in the nose. You know, our troops are all patriotic. They want war. No, they don't. That's why CNN cut the feed when that guy in uniform was up there talking about that. He's like, well, you're a hero. You've been in for 10 years, two tours, highly decorated. And he said, yeah, and I don't want this war. Boom, they cut the feed. Now we found other incidents where they do the same thing. That's because they want this image that you support the troops by treating them like garbage. And they could find people that kind of buy into all this and will go along with it. But it is a scourge on the military, and we have we have a responsibility to make sure DU is not used. God bless you, and I appreciate your call. Stephen, Illinois, you're on the air. Go ahead. Thanks for holding. Okay, Alex. Uh, two quick history lessons. One might want to delve into pre-World War II Germany and see how the squeeze play was being put on Hitler and the Nazis. And no wonder he comes to such a high rise uh, so solidly because the people had had enough. It's almost a blueprint of what's going on in this country today. Number two, uh, 19, you know, the United Nations was started in 45. They had this figured out. We didn't know it. That in 65 years, see, Roosevelt got us so we could retire uh, at 65. And you had 65 years to 1945, and what do you got? 2010. That's when they started grabbing all these pensions and everything. And I'll Oh, sir, what, it was know? our Pentagon that set up the U.N., and they would use uh, McCarthy to take people's rights. But when he figured out that our elite and our own government... And our own Pentagon was funding the communists. That's when they destroyed him. But now it's all been declassified. It was all true. Yes, the mega robber barons wanted to destroy freedom, and they used America as the command base to do it while funding the communists so that they could be the other side of it to create the illusion of choice. 
You bet. And the other historical fact, a little bit before your time, uh, Ronald Reagan came in, and it was a race to the bomb. That's what got me arrested 32 years ago, uh, what was going on. Deregulation, and they were going to ship industry offshore at taxpayers' expense on top of it. And what that ended up being, like today, is a hush money situation because they're going to build up all these other countries that's over there so we can go in with our military adventurism and steal their uh, uh, raw goods and everything and uh, at the same time give them plenty of money. That's what we're doing. China is nothing more than hush money uh, so we could do what we're doing and they let us run around without attacking our military. No, that's exactly what globalism is. It's a giant payoff and the elites all then screw the people. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. That's the sound of the same door now protected by the Door Sentinel at MySafeDoor.com. Go to MySafeDoor.com right now and watch the amazing video. At MySafeDoor.com, you'll learn how to turn your home into a fortress with the Door Sentinel. 16 kicks later, and the Door Sentinel is still holding strong. MySafeDoor.com. That's MySafeDoor.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Hey guys, are weaker testosterone levels taking you out of the game? Are you gaining fat, feeling tired, losing desire in the bedroom? Get back in the game. Call now for a risk-free trial of Ageless Male, a natural supplement shown to raise testosterone by 61% and maintain healthy, normal levels. No injections, no appointments. Just take Ageless Male every day and boost your testosterone by 61%. When your levels are healthy, you can feel energy again, a great outlook again, and yes, a healthy sex drive. The results are life-changing. Beware of cheap knockoffs. Ageless Male is an exclusive formula and the only one proven in research to boost testosterone 61 percent try ageless male risk-free just call 1-800-497-8345 1-800-497-8345 there are limitless ways to go into business for yourself but most involve substantial capital and risk our InfoWarsTeam.com operation is different. We promote premium quality health, energy, and skincare products using dynamic, caring personalities and state-of-the-art media technology to spread a powerful message of health, wealth, longevity, and freedom. This low-cost business opportunity is designed for full-time or part-time, so you can work as little or as much as you'd like. It is you that defines the reward level, whether you are seeking a few hundred extra dollars per month or a six or even seven figure annual income. It's up to you. Want to find out more? Shoot an email with InfoWars Team in the subject line to InfoWars Team Coordinator MZ and tell him a little bit about yourself. That's the initials MZ at InfoWarsTeam.com. That's MZ at InfoWarsTeam.com. I only promote products that I truly believe in, and these are phenomenal. Whatever you do, visit InfoWarsTeam.com. Hi, I'm Mark Craighead, founder of Crossbreed Holsters. I designed our top-selling holster, the Super Tuck Deluxe, to solve the problems of being poked, pinched, and gouged while carrying concealed. The Super Tuck Deluxe is the most comfortable, most concealable holster on the market today. We offer a two-week free trial and a lifetime warranty. Visit us at CrossbreedHolsters.com. Don't forget, CrossbreedHolsters.com. In a coming apart world, you need something to keep it tied together. That something is Atwood Rope, the highest quality rope made in the USA from exotic braids for military, rescue, arborists, shipyards, tow line, or boating. Quality rope at affordable prices you and your customers can depend on. Find a dealer or shop online at atwoodrope.net. Enter promo code RADIO to receive 100 feet of 550 paracord free with purchase. Atwood Rope, working to keep the world tied together. Day after day, alone on a hill, the
The man with the foolish grin is keeping perfectly still. But nobody wants to. Yeah, people to get into these love affairs with Ronald Reagan. And I've studied Ronald Reagan in depth. He wasn't a bad person individually, but he was in over his depth. I mean, they would roll him up to the podium with his cue cards, and that was it. George Herbert Walker Bush was running things from behind the scenes. And Reagan, when he was actually running, criticized George Herbert Walker Bush and said he's a trilateralist, he's a New World Order person. We have those clips, by the way, in the film Invisible Empire that I produced, that Jason Burmes directed, that is available at InfoWars.com if you'd like to, uh, to get that film and also support us. But, you know, I always get lectured by so-called conservatives. They're like, oh, NAFTA and GATT are great. Oh, open borders are great. Oh, uh, th th this makes us more competitive. Really, to give General Motors 25 plus billion dollars in the first bailout they got, and they used almost all of it to move plants to Brazil, China, and Eastern Europe, I mean, that all happened. How is giving $16 trillion and other $10 trillion on top of that to the Federal Reserve, and then they get caught lying and saying, we didn't give any of it to private individuals or, or foreign banks? Turns out most of it, 60-plus percent went to it, including MSNBC, your tax money, from the government to the private Federal Reserve to have Rachel Maddow sit up there and talk about banning our Second Amendment. I mean, it's treason. It's a bunch of foreign corporations that wrap their tyranny in a flag. And, and here's an example, USA Today. I mean, this stuff's just in the open now. GM deal moves electric car development to China, a shakedown. I mean, even USA Today sounds like my show. Because that's what it is. And there goes your tax money that you paid for. No one will buy these electric cars. They sold like 10,000 or something last time I checked. They said they were going to sell millions of them. And it's all going overseas. I mean, as if we can't compete with Chinese slave labor and, and them chaining their kids while they're going into work to power poles because they won't pay them enough to even live in many areas. This is on record. Guys, type in Chinese workers uh, chaining children to lamp post. It, it, it'll, it'll pull up news articles on it. People won't believe that. It's like selling political dissidents organs. This is the race to the bottom. You don't build up China and build up the rest of the world by having the lowest standards ever known. You suck everything down with it, as Ross Perot explained. Let me explain how it works. Canadian workers were paid on average about $10 an hour more than we were. As soon as they got rid of any type of tariffs or controls, their jobs moved to the United States. Now, we open this up to Mexico. Two things are going to happen. The workers are going to come up here and drive down the wages, but even more, they're going to go to Mexico and drive them down. You're going to have a giant sucking sound, but that's only for a while. Then what's going to happen is you're going to have the jobs go to India and to China. Mexico is going to be destroyed by this. All the people down there, the farmers that are sustainable, and have a good way of life. This is going to destroy Mexico. There's 15 million people right now in Mexico City. I predict within a decade it'll be 30 million being forced up there to work in factories and then coming to the United States and being given welfare. This will destroy the entire global system. But in the short term, it'll allow major corporations to have larger profits. It is not free or fair trade. To allow China to have no environmental standards, no workers' compensation, no social security, and to pay tax incentives to move American jobs over there. This country is going to be completely destroyed economically. Now, that's the facts. Al Gore starts laughing at him on Larry King Live. We have clips of that in Fall of the Republic. And he goes, ha, oh, very funny. This will double our jobs, Larry. I mean, that Nelly con artist. And Ross Perot's getting madder and madder because you can say what you want about Ross Perot. He was right on those subjects and cared about this country. When they called him a conspiracy theorist when he came out and said, I've been told my wife and daughters will be killed. That's fine. This country's in a lot of trouble. I'm dropping out. They're like, oh, that's ridiculous. George Herbert Walker Bush wouldn't threaten him.
I mean, stop being naive. The people that run our government and our country do not care about us. Now, Roberts is going to be on for one segment. And I'll get to your calls ahead of the next guest in that little segment and the one after it. I'll get to Jason, George, Brian, Carter, Mike, and others. We're going to hit economic news, world military news, police state news. With Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, straight ahead, I'm Alex Jones. The websites are InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. We're carrying the new film, A Noble Lie, exposing Oklahoma City as a staged op and a new... Well, I'll tell you about it when we come back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depth to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at InfoWars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control. Your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. a few calls about this and uh, I know that uh, Jesse Ventura has already left the United States but I'm going to try to get a hold of him in Mexico and find out about this because I'm here reading about this uh, even on the Blaze website uh, that's just one of the many places that's uh, running with it and even the people commenting there say this guy's selling a book uh, this sounds really weird. Uh, it comes off strange. Uh, the the Opie and Anthony show, a show I've been a guest on before. I'd have them as a guest here, but they, they cuss so much. We're on FCC stations. They're just on XM. Uh, this uh, younger Navy SEAL, uh, Chris Kyle, says that uh, he was at a bar uh, and uh, that Jesse Ventura was there talking about how the war is a bunch of murderers and wrong. So he punched him in the nose and ran away so the police wouldn't arrest him. And he's acting like it's kind of joking around. Um, 
very, very strange. And, and, and separately, Jesse you know, uh, called two weeks ago and said, hey, they're running a national news story on Fox and TMZ that I was, the police pulled me over for rubbernecking for tailgating in California. And by the way, he, you know, this supposedly the night before he calls from Minnesota, he goes, you know, I've been in a federal lawsuit. I haven't flown in 15 months. And later TMZ had to retract it. So they said he's the police pull him over. He's tailgating people. And now it looks like a psyop. Now he's in a bar. By the way, Ventura hasn't drunk alcohol in decades. And it's funny. When I was out in Vegas with him, you know, shooting the TV show a few months ago, we were driving around uh, Jesse and um, his wife and I. And he was talking about baloney in the press. And he's like, yeah. The, they're always putting out these stories that I was in a bar in California or a bar in Nevada and I got knocked out. And he goes, it's weird. He goes, Alex, do you think, Alex, do you think that's a psyop? And then, of course, he called into the show and he goes, Alex, I'm very angry. I may have to sue them. I was not in California. I have proof I'm here. I, uh, they say I did this. And now they've got this, this, this currently, I guess, active, you he just got out, a uh, sniper. So I guess he's been over there shooting Iraqis. Uh, and it's, it's so manly and tough. You know, the disheveled, starving people. Uh, and, and, and he's all laughing and joking on this show about punching Ventura in the nose because Ventura is saying the war's wrong and then running away. I mean, very bizarre. So people are asking me about it. I, I, I've got Ventura's wife's cell phone, but I think he's already gone into Mexico. I'm going to call him at the end of the show today. Okay, and I'm going to find out about this. But if I put two and two together, I think... He told me about this and was going, I always just ought to sue these people. But that was before this was ever out. And he will sue people So I, if it's not true. So I'm going to find out what's going on. But there's a clear psyop going on. Ron Paul, that's on CNN, will he apologize for a Twitter sent from his account? And the Twitter's like, yeah, Huntsman's an idiot. And Paul's like, no, somebody unauthorized sent that. And since he apologized, that like it's a big deal. Oh, my gosh, they sent a Twitter out. Uh, Ron Paul, you know ate a hamburger once, or he got a crooked toenail. I mean, it, it, it's just as much ado about nothing, psyops, and we're going to look into it. Uh, but even the people on Glenn Beck's side are not buying it, and that's just one of the places. Dallas newspapers have got it. D Magazine's got it. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, look into it and, and give you the breaking intel on that front. Uh, up at DrudgeReport.com, they have our article, DHS officers armed with... Semi-automatic set up unannounced ID checkpoint. Oh, by the way, again, Ventura doesn't drink. And that was a story about, I don't even drink. I'm at a bar. I'm knocked out. I, I, who are these people? Uh, I think it's a psyop. But uh, DHS officers armed with semi-automatic set up unannounced ID checkpoint uh, in Florida. I mean, w w with machine guns. So we'll be looking at that after Dr. Roberts leaves us. Uh, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts is a best-selling author, former editor at the Wall Street Journal. He has a new great website they've launched, paulcraigroberts.org. He was the head of policy uh, at Treasury, number two position under Ronald Reagan, and is the father of Reaganomics, and he's uh, recognized as one of the top ten economists out there. We won't go over all of his uh, laurels and international awards and national awards he's gotten, but he joins us briefly uh, for the rest of the hour uh, to break down all the incredible things uh, that are happening. The Iran buildup, uh, the NDAA, the police state, uh, the, the Obama power grabs with, with, with recess appointments. Uh, what's number one on your radar screen right now, Dr. Roberts? Well, uh, Alex, you know, it's the, the murder, the public murder of the United States Constitution in full public view by both parties in Congress, both houses, and by the president. And this is an amazing thing. When they publicly repeal the Constitution and the Bill of Rights in a piece of legislation that has no justification whatsoever. You know, you could understand something like that, Alex, if uh, every day a half a dozen uh, shopping malls were blowing up, if if people standing in the air lot, in, in the uh, airports waiting to clear airport security, if, if bombs were going off in the lines, if, if terrorists were running in and spraying the crowd with automatic weapons, you know, if the neocons were being assassinated in their homes, uh, if, if all of this was happening, one can understand these kinds of really uh, desperate measures. But when nothing whatsoever is happening, 
despite the fact the United States has been bombing and murdering uh, Muslims in six or more countries for the last 10 years, there hasn't been a single domestic act of terrorism in the United States uh, since 9-11, and you and I know what we think about that event. So the whole thing, you see, has no justification, and people just sit there, and they've accepted the public murder of the United States Constitution. What does this mean? You know, the Constitution is the uh, result of uh, about 800 years of struggle. We inherited it from the British, you know, the, the Bill of Rights. This was something they achieved over a long period of time of struggle. We inherited it. We enshrined it in the Constitution so that there would be limits on the government and so the government would be accountable to law and could not just arbitrarily uh, do things to people. Well, we've just allowed them to destroy this. And there's no objection. We, of all the candidates, all the visible candidates, you know, the Democrats and the Republicans, contending for the presidency, only Ron Paul has made an issue of this. What does this mean about us as a country? So if we're going to let them murder the Constitution, then sure, we're going to let uh, <clears throat> the Department of Homeland Security feel us up uh, when we go through airports, porno scanners, uh, post armed guards, at social security offices, stop cars and trucks on the nation's highways and search them without warrants. This is a police state. I don't even think Hitler had a police state this thoroughgoing or one that whose foundation has been so well prepared over the last 10 years. So that's what's on, on my mind, you know, who's doing anything about it other than the ACLU. Now, I know you talk about it, I talk about it, but we don't have any way of actually doing anything about it. And the people seem to be accepting it. Well, obviously throughout history, governments that uh, massively erode liberties in the name of safety it's always that corrupt government system that is the true ultimate threat uh, much more so than some foggy uh, staged fake terror threat but 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 here's the 64 million dollar question that i want your perspective on dr roberts why are they accelerating internet censorship and admitting it censorship even when the 80 inventors of the internet come out and say it's that Chinese style communist, you know, selective kill switch. Why are they admitting torture, NDAA, wireless uh, wiretapping? All of this. Why are they moving so quickly right now and so openly? What are they planning? What are they doing this ahead of? Yes, that's a that's a good question. Obviously, they want to shut us up and stop the only access we have to any real information, which is on the internet. So what are they planning? Well, they may be preparing for economic catastrophe. There's obviously not an economic recovery. There cannot be an economic recovery when you've moved the entire manufacturing sector offshore, along with so many of the middle class professional skill jobs. So they've run out of the ability to keep the economy going with consumer debt. So there's no recovery. What does that mean for the deficit? It's going to be bigger. The unemployment is going to be worse. There's going to be more protests, more hardship. So, and the financial situation is, is not, <laughs> has not been fixed. And so the deteriorating economy will, will renew all the pressures on the financial system. So they're worried about all that. They obviously are planning more wars. They've got Syria in their sights. They've got Iran in their sights. Even China, they now talk about uh, their war plans <laughs> for China. So they're, they're preparing big things for us, uh, economic collapse at home, more wars abroad. And they want to be sure that we simply can't use uh, the, uh, the Internet and the various kinds of uh, social information networks uh, to get information or to oppose these developments. That's right, doctor. You just put your finger directly on it. That's why, and I'm not a fan of the communist Chinese, but the point is, uh, their president came out, as you know, a month ago and said, we're preparing for war with the U.S. It looks like they're going to try to encircle us. The bases are being set up, so prepare for war with the United States. Uh, the Russians, who've not had an aggressive posture, are now having to say, okay, they're getting ready for war with us. Get ready. 
It's going to be hard for the Russians to do that because they have foolishly allowed uh, these non-governmental organizations that are funded by the American uh, Endowment for Democracy to come in and muck around in the elections and organize street protests. And the Russians now are being seduced with membership in the World Trade Organization. So that we are the, the, I don't mean you and I, but so that Washington or whoever is pulling all the strings, uh, so that they now have access to Russian leaders that they can purchase with money. That's the way the United States controls the world. It buys the leaders of all the other governments. Now, it's unable to do that in China and in Iran, but everywhere else it seems to have access and basically just purchases the leadership of those countries and so that the leaders of those countries no longer represent their own country, their own people, they represent Washington's interest. I mean, why else is NATO fighting American wars in Central Asia <laughs> or North Africa? There's nothing to do with NATO. Well, they want part of that 500 billion in opium coming out of Afghanistan a year, but, but, but looking at this, uh, now, openly having the aircraft carriers, Strait of Hormuz, Iran threatening, don't bring your carriers back. U.S. troops arriving in Israel uh, for what Israel calls a deployment, not a drill. Uh, just just crazy, crazy things happening. And, and, and I think you also hit the nail on the head again when you pointed out whoever's pulling the strings. This is not America. This is not our government. This is this global corporate consortium that, that, that controls the United States just like it controls others. And, and, and so what is the end game? I mean, as an economist with what's happening in Europe, uh, the acceleration of currency devaluations, uh, I mean, if you were to step into their shoes, their mindset, what do you think their method of their madness is? Well, you see, the European banks were ruined by Wall Street, all the junk uh, securities that Wall Street sold them under false pretenses. So that, uh, that damaged them. And then um, they now, on top of that, they have this sovereign debt crisis, you know, the Greek debt, the Italian debt. And what, uh, what, we're, what, what Washington is doing, or whoever's pulling the strings, is using the hype of the European uh, sovereign debt crisis to strengthen the dollar, to drive down the euro and, and drive down gold and silver and strengthen the dollar so that they can pull off this next big uh, war front that they've got planned. So, and the reason they're putting American troops in, in Israel is that if they give Israel the green light to uh, attack Iran and Iran retaliates, the retaliation uh, will probably hit some of the American troops who have been stationed around Israel, and then that gives Washington uh, a reason to join in the war. I was about to say, they're, they're, I have the reporter, they're peppering them at all of the main bases the Iranians are sure to hit. Yeah, right. So, so Washington can say, oh, they killed our soldiers and, uh, and, and be off to war. So I think that all of that is what's, <clears throat> uh, what's in the cards and uh, people will sit without good information unless the whole country watches you, <laughs> a few other places, uh, they'll sit without good information and be sucked into, into another hoax. And it's getting more and more dangerous because um, I think <clears throat> the, uh, the Chinese and the Russians uh, didn't get too disturbed about Iraq and Afghanistan. They may have seen it as a way of letting the Americans get themselves into a mess and, and bankrupt the government's budget and so on. Uh, but it's now getting closer and closer to them. You see, as we've talked before, the, uh, the overthrow of Gaddafi, the, the, the war against Libya, this was directed at the Chinese oil investments in eastern Libya. Uh, the, uh, the setup of Syria is directed at the uh, Russian naval base in Syria. And <clears throat> when they... If they hit Iran, as it certainly seems they intend to do with all of their rhetoric, uh, this also threatens uh, the Chinese investments in Iran, and it is too close to Russia's borders. So they're now really uh, risking some kind of a nuclear uh, encounter here with 
the two powers, either one of which can uh, blow away the whole world. So and by the way, with the Georgia conflict, as you know, sir, on 888, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff that was on European TV, but not here, top story in Europe, rolled, rolled up mobile missiles and said on TV, well, okay, we're going to have to attack you with, with uh, medium-range missiles because NATO aircraft were landing to back it up. And I mean, what other response do you do? This show, and it turned out, Cy Hirsch discovered Dick Cheney was probing Russia. I mean, these are just crazy people that get off on this stuff. They already run the whole stinking world. Why do they have to just keep grabbing and grabbing and grabbing? You know, they've been they've been mad ever since um, ever since uh, the Joint Chiefs couldn't get John F. Kennedy in the early '60s to do a preemptive nuclear attack on the Soviet Union. The Joint Chiefs and the CIA had worked out that the, the, that the Russians would not have the wherewithal to respond, but that they were quickly gaining and that we needed to strike right away to negate uh, Soviet power. And Kennedy nixed it. And they've been angry ever since. And they got uh, more and more angry about the Vietnam War, about losing the Vietnam War. Tell you what, Doctor, and one more segment. Let's finish up there and look at the economy, the outlook there. Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, and he's launched a new website, and it's a really nice one. Uh, we'll uh, give you that address right now. And when we come back, excited to see his work uh, proliferating out there. Uh, PaulCraigRoberts.org. Our sites are InfoWars.com. Don't forget the network site, GCNLive.com. We'll be right back. What happened, man? You used to be energetic, happy, and wow, did the ladies love you. Now, you fall asleep on the couch, irritable, and out of shape. Don't be that guy. Call now for a risk-free trial of Ageless Male, a natural supplement shown to raise testosterone by 61% and maintain healthy, normal levels. No injections, no appointments. With healthy testosterone levels, you can feel that energy again, that great outlook again, and yes, even a healthy sex drive. Right now, you can try Ageless Male risk-free. There's nothing to lose, guys. If you're a man who's noticed changes in your body, your mood, your sex life, call now for a risk-free trial of Ageless Male. Be the guy you used to be. Just call 1-800-497-8345. Don't wait another day. Just call 1-800-497-8345. That's 1-800-497-8345. Hello, I'm Alex Jones. Myself, my family, the InfoWars.com team want to relay to you and your families that we are intensifying our efforts against the globalist on every front. InfoWars.com is leading the fight against the technocrats. But we can't do that without your help. By getting the films, bumper stickers, and t-shirts at InfoWars.com, you will wake up people in your area and support our operation as we move to the next level level. We need your help to spread the word like never before. They wish to hide themselves during this tectonic battle between the forces of freedom and darkness. You are the response to the globalist technocrats and their program of global eugenics dehumanization and ultimate extermination. The war is here. It's an info war. The spirit of 1776 versus the mindset of 1984. In the event of an emergency, do you really trust Obama and the federal government to provide for you and your family? Modern day emergencies like floods, tornadoes, earthquakes, snowstorms, terrorist attacks, or anything else can strike anywhere, leaving your family vulnerable. That's why you can't afford to be without emergency food supplies. If you're like most people, you know that you need emergency food supplies, but you keep putting it off. So to help you, Ready Reserve Foods is offering a free sample kit of emergency food so you can test our food for yourself. The food really is free. You simply pay for the shipping and we'll send you the food for free. To get your free sample kit of emergency food, simply call 800-453-2202 or visit readyreservefoods.com. Again, that's 1-800-453-2202 or readyreservefoods.com. Don't wait. Call now because the free sample kits are limited. So call 800-453-2202 or readyreservefoods.com.
final segment with Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. We'll take some more of your calls. And we have another guest coming up, a reporter, to break down evidence of manipulation and tampering. Uh, by the way, we have Carl Rove, a clip coming up where he just talks about the fact they had a gentleman's agreement with all the key caucuses there and decided that Santorum uh, came in second. Wait till I play that clip. I played it on the nightly news last night, but I'll get to that coming up in the next hour. Uh, Dr. Roberts, uh, we were going to break there, and you were bringing up the fact that the Joint Chiefs of Staff, uh, Curtis LeMay, of course, L.L. Lemnister on record, they wanted Northwoods. And it turns right. out that one of their chief uh, adjuncts became the, the boss of Dick Cheney, and they all learned about COG and taught George Herbert Walker Bush about how great martial law could be to bring in uh, a takeover. Probably. Yeah. Well, I think we kind of covered that. You wanted to get on to the economy. Yes, just briefly. I, what do you see there? Well, uh, there can't be a recovery because it's, the economy has been moved offshore. And uh, we have very high unemployment. We have a huge employment deficit over the last 10 years. And, uh, and uh, so far, the dollar is holding together because the government has been operating against the bullion markets. And it's using all this hype about a European debt crisis to keep the euro down. Uh, but you've got to uh, figure what, what do they do when the economy worsens, unemployment rises, the tax revenues fall more, the deficit gets bigger. They've got to be able to sell these bonds somewhere. And if there's no market for them, then the Federal Reserve buys them. That is, it monetizes them. It creates new money to pay for them. Sooner or later, all that new money will find its way into the economy and drive up prices, or else the constant monetization of debt will cause the rest of the world to give up on the dollar. And that, <clears throat> this, in my view, is the real check on uh, Washington's power or, or on the power of those pulling the strings. At some point, uh, there's going to be too many dollar claims for the value of the dollar to support it and it's going to bite the dust. And when that happens, so does the power of, of Washington. And I think that is a more likely thing to uh, uh, curtail the developments that we don't like than any sort of internal political reform. But they still have their nuclear weapons, and uh, Israel has them, and, and, and in the final equation, that's what... Uh, is being counted on here is just holding everybody hostage. I, I'm actually in the in the process of writing about the economic outlook for this new year. I interrupted it to come uh, onto your program, but this article will soon be posted on my site, paulcraigroberts.org. And uh, if it's not up, uh, it'll probably be up tomorrow, <clears throat> assuming I'm I'm able to finish writing it. And I'll, I'm going to go through all the aspects. Uh, that have essentially destroyed the uh, economic capability of the economy and, and, and ruined the prospect for at least 90% of the American population. And when, when your own government and your own corporations and your own pundits and your own economists do this to you, you really don't have uh, a whole lot of reason to be loyal to them. Yes, and they're building a giant armed camp against us. They treat us like they're enemies. I mean, this is, or not even like they're enemies, like we're cattle and they're wolves. Uh, we're, I guess we're just their prey. You, you can see this very well in the attitudes of local police toward local citizens. It is really out of control. And, of course, those local police are helping go along with the destruction of their own system. But a lot of police are waking up. Dr. Roberts, congratulations on launching your site. Uh, we'll talk to you very soon. Thank you, Alex. I enjoy be being with you. Enjoy having you. Have a great new year. Into 2012. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be back in a moment. We've got a big show tonight, by the way. We're going to look at government-developed cancer viruses with the top expert, InfoWars Nightly News, 7 o'clock tonight. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. 
Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're into the third hour here. The jam and some calls now. More coming up in the hour. We have a guest joining us. We're going to blitz through news and get his take on it. But first, look at Iowa. I keep forgetting, guys. Make sure you guys from John uh, get that clip of um, the horse race clip um, with the Carl Rove. He'll know which one it is. Looking at fraud in Iowa. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Carter in Michigan. Carter, you're on the air. Uh, hey, Alex. I uh, just want to say uh, me and a lot of my friends are really proud of what you're doing, and we support you all the way, man. Well, thank you. Couldn't do it without your support, my friend. Okay. Well, I have a, a statement and, and, a, and a question as well. Uh, I just want to say that I was one of the, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a young black guy. Uh, been on board with Obama since 2008. I was one of those guys who drunk the Kool-Aid, you know, back then, and, you know, thought he was going to be this miracle guy and all this stuff. And, uh, you know, just over the years, just watching his agenda, uh, I really decided that I'm going to have to come on board with Ron Paul. And, uh, you know, I just, I, after the NDAA, I, it really was the last straw for me. I really see what kind of guy he really is. Uh, well, you know, it's good to be loyal. I mean, I mean, you see how bad somebody is like George W. Bush, and you want to believe. I mean, I early on wanted to believe Obama when he said in wars, torture, and all this. But then I saw the advisors he was getting and who was giving him money, and I said, folks, it's, it's going to be a total con job, and we were right. But again, I'm sorry. Go ahead and make your point. Yeah, uh, I, it was it was one thing I was watching on on uh, cable news. Uh, we was the Al Sharpton show on Tuesday, and they were talking about Ron Paul, and he was saying that you know how the media has been trying to portray him as a racist and stuff, and he was saying that. Uh, Ron Paul doesn't support the Civil Rights Act of 1965 and that, you know, Rosa Parks would still be on the bus. And I, it kind of threw me off because, I, you know, I've been looking at Ron Paul and I really want to support him. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of donating to his campaign and everything. And, and I'm thinking, like, wow, I mean, it's, well, what's up with that? You know, I figured, you know, you would be a good guy to, you know, talk to about it and see what's well, really Well, the problem, the, the problem with it is I can pull up what he actually stands for. Uh, and, and, and Rand Paul said the same thing. They're saying... Federal legislation like that over states, that it should be the states, the states should all adopt legislation like that. And he said that he would support it. He's saying it's unconstitutional, though, because they use that then for other things like the sexual harassment stuff and the rest of it. And now we've got the Fed setting up checkpoints on highways. Uh, and so that's a misrepresentation. I, I mean, I, I need to pull up his quotes and where he explains it all. But no, I mean, it's like when they say... He's against having a space program. No, he just explains that it should be done by the states or that it's not part of a Navy or a military and that it ends up being basically militarized. So they, it's like they, they lie and say, well, he claims he's against the earmarks, but he takes the money. He votes against the earmarks, but once the money comes to the district, of course, it gets distributed. Uh, so you can just, uh, I'll guarantee you that's one of the frequently asked questions on the Ron Paul uh, 2012 uh, website. And you can go up there and look at that. And next time I have Ron Paul on, I'll bring that up to him. But no, that's one of their favorite things uh, is to say that, you know, that they say he's against the federal government. He doesn't want women to vote. And it's basically just made up. Uh, and uh, perhaps I should. Uh, problem is now here by the third hour, I, I, I cracked my sternum last weekend. So 
Now I'm having, I'm, I'm kind of laboring here, folks, so I'm, I'm sorry, but we'll get this hour done and I'll be back tomorrow, Lord willing. I may not be able to do the nightly news tonight. I may have Rob do do it, but uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, see what happens with that. But I tell you what, I will uh, I'll codify that information for you and 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 get it out for you. How's that sound? Oh, great! You know, because I, I, I pretty much I got my family on board. It seems like it's to the point where uh, you know Ron Paul. You look at all the other candidates, and I mean, you look at Obama. It's like Ron Paul is the only way we got to go, or, or else you know all hell's gonna break loose. You're right, my friend. You're absolutely right about that. Good to hear from you. Okay, uh, we got a guest coming up, and uh, we've got a bunch more calls as well. This third hour is going to be jam-packed. Wait to hear this Carl Rove Club coming up. And we'll be back tonight, 7 o'clock, prisonplanet.tv. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the checkout to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way, and you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for SurvivalSeedBank.com. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Okay, for the rest of the hour, investigative journalist Greg Hunter is going to be our guest. We'll also take calls. Those of you that are holding, he can talk on any of these issues. I wanted to get him on to get his perspective on anomalies uh, in Iowa, because I know he's been looking into those and reporting on it. Since uh, we even had Bev Harris on, who's really the preeminent expert in election fraud, of blackboxvoting.org, we've learned even more. And in a moment, uh, after we get uh, Greg's basic breakdown on this, I'm going to play a clip, an audio clip. It's a video clip for viewers, a uh, little piece uh, that uh, John Bowne put together for the Nightly News, where it shows Ron Paul you know, up at first place until the magic wand of uh, 
Karl Rove is introduced, and then magically uh, he gets pulled back to third place. And um, we're going to play that clip of Karl Rove here in a moment saying, oh, well, you know, some of the key precincts got lost or didn't show up. And, you know, there's missing people that uh, had the votes. Uh, and they don't know where they are. So they just had a gentleman's agreement and decided what level Santorum would go up to. And, and that's the final numbers. This is hours before these numbers were even released. This is the guy that called Florida uh, for Bush when none of the other networks did. But when Karl Rove says so, it makes it so. And again, I'm not a fan of Al Gore. Facts are facts. Uh, so we'll uh, get his uh, take on this. And then I want to move into some other subject with Greg Hunter. The Iran situation, uh, the TSA setting up checkpoints all over the country. We have another article out on it today. Setting up checkpoints, checking IDs with machine guns, MP5, Heckler & Koch, uh, 9 millimeters in Florida. DHS officers armored semi-automatic set up unannounced ID checkpoint in Leesburg, Florida. I mean, we are living in the twilight zone here. My report, again, is up at DrudgeReport.com. Easy place to find it. Some of the other news we have at uh, InfoWars.com uh, is the soldier. Army considering reprimanding soldier who appeared with Ron Paul. Now, we got an extended interview with him that we premiered last night uh, that one of our correspondents got with him um, after he was on CNN and they cut the feed. Then he went up and was on the stage with Ron Paul. They got the interview after that. And it may be one of the last times you hear from him because the U.S. Army said Wednesday that it is considering disciplining Reserve Corporal Jesse Thorson, the soldier who spoke out against the a militaristic foreign policy at Ron Paul's post-Iowa caucuses rally. Well, I mean, as a citizen, he's allowed to talk about Ron Paul and supporting his view of military intervention. It's certainly shared by the former head of the Joint Chiefs, Fox Fallon, uh, Mullen, the, the outgoing guy, and, and of course now Dempsey, they finally hired somebody who will go along with it. By the way, Dempsey has all these weird quotes where he, I don't know why we're in Iraq, and I did say it, and I, and but we're there and I like it. You know, just really weird stuff. Let's go ahead and blast Iran. Uh, so that's going on there. We'll get his take on that as well. Uh, but uh, Greg Hunter runs usawatchdog.com, a uh, great uh, news site, and he's worked for ABC News, CNN, uh, you name it, Nightly News, uh, all of it, and brings all of that to his own research and reports there. Uh, Greg, great to have you back with us here today. Um, what is your view and take on the big anomalies I know I've seen and others have witnessed, including people that were in the caucuses who called in from Iowa yesterday? Uh, what do you see happening there? Well, from the very beginning, I mean, right at the beginning, Ron Paul was up with 43 percent of the vote. Now, that jives with most of the uh, the, the reporting of the of people going into the to the, you know, the caucus goers going in saying they're going to vote for Ron Paul. He was the clear uh, front runner going in and by a wide margin. Now, I, you know, I don't know what went on in the background, but I think it's awful weird for a guy who was in, what, fifth or sixth place to shoot to the top with an eight-vote uh, margin of, of second-place uh, loss, which is Santorum, who Santorum was on Meet the Press, uh, and he was talking about he would degrade their facilities. And I wanted David Gregory to say, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. Now, this isn't like bombing Libya uh, Senator, this is uh, I, uh, Iran has been uh, basically put up as a line in the sand with China and China has said that they will uh, come to Iran's rescue, even if it causes World War Three. This is pretty widely reported. Russia helps Iran with their nuclear facilities. And I don't think Russia is very keen on allowing the United States to, uh, you know, bomb Iran's facilities. Now, they say Iran says it's for the, new, the peaceful production of energy. And listen, I'm American and I'm for the U.S. and I'm for our troops and all that. But just for an objective view, Iran has a lot of, uh, of uh, you know, yellow cake and also uranium. And it would be a real uh, normal uh, path for Iran to take to say, hey, we need to develop our nuclear resources. They have a lot of uranium in Iran, in the Middle East. And they would also preserve their, you know, their fossil fuels at, at, one, at some point in the future. 40 years, 50 years, whatever, will run out. And some people say we shouldn't even be burning oil. It's such a rare and uh, it's such an uh, unusual component that naturally occurs in the crust of the earth that there are some scientists say we should keep it for fertilizer and for medicine and for, for other things than just burn it in our gas tank. So that said... Um, you know, this is not going to be like sending in some people to Libya 
who are former Al Qaeda, and that's been widely reported by everybody who's out there. The LA you know, Times, BBC, is, yes. was, they were former uh, guy who fought against coalition forces in Afghanistan was a leader uh, in Libya. We put him in Libya. And so, you know, I was saying for from the very beginning, A, they started a central bank right from the get-go, just like that. What happened to the 144 tons of gold that Gaddafi had? Wouldn't that be great to settle contracts? But I guess they, when they run short, they just take your segregated accounts and, and don't deliver your gold and silver. Like, oh, I am F Global. And so, but, uh, but you know, that was a very weird thing. We basically, I mean, you know, oh, you're for us or against us. Well, unless you're taking out Gaddafi, then you're, you know, then you're Al-Qaeda and it's okay. So I don't understand that. We supported Al Qaeda. This NAD, this NDAA bill that just passed specifically said Al Qaeda. Why are we supporting Al Qaeda in Libya? Why? And back to the voting thing. Listen, I don't know what happened there, but all the reports. One, one thing. Here's what the mainstream media does great. They report on the moment. Television, cable, television, mainstream media does a wonderful job if a bridge falls down, if a hurricane comes up for an election. And they did a wonderful job that night, and they were polling caucus goers on the way in. And all their revolts, all their revolts, all their uh, uh, resources, and everybody that I watched said, wow, Ron Paul's going to walk away. And, and the numbers first came up. He was Yeah, the exit polls look like 50% is what he should have gotten. The entrance polls showed that, but magically... It didn't happen. I want to expand on that, but I want to play you a clip. For Wait, look, we should talk about why. We should really talk about why. Absolutely, but I want to get your take on this. This, this was picked up by a couple of newspapers, uh, but, but other than that, it didn't get any attention. This is from Fox News. Carl Rove, their correspondent, talks about uh, these key precincts with the missing votes. And we were being told this before we knew about the Carl Rove comments. And then they got in a room and had a gentleman's agreement and decided to boost Sam Torum by all these percentage points. I mean, this is a smoking gun where Karl Rove hides it in plain view the night of the election, hours before these numbers even came out. How is Karl Rove from Fox headquarters uh, telling us this? Uh, here is the clip. Romney is going to win the Iowa caucuses by 14 votes. By 14 How solid votes. is your evidence? Uh, you're, you're... From, from a pretty good, reliable source. Uh, they made the correction in Story County, which moved it from an eight point margin for him point for Santorum, Clinton County, right. you have the one outstanding precinct in the state, and that it will show an 18 uh, vote victory in that precinct for, for Mitt Romney, which will give him a statewide victory of 14 votes over. And over, from out uh, of nowhere, Rick it's Rick Santorum. Santorum. So I, I don't understand. You're saying that they basically have come to an agreement as to what the, the vote's going to be the, in Clinton? The, the uh, official, the person who's got the official piece of paper is missing. But the Romney and Santorum people who are monitoring it agree on what the number is. They apparently have rounded up the representatives of the camps who have agreed, yes, we were there. We know exactly what the vote total was, and we both agree to, uh, agree to what it was. All right, and again, uh, we're going to post that video clip uh, up on the site. Uh, our computer stuttered a few times. That's unedited, though. Uh, that's from Fox News. What do you make of that? I say that's uh, he basically admitted that they decided uh, between the two uh, supposed front runners uh, who was going to win. Why did they bring Ron Paul in? Why did they bring Newt Gingrich in? Why don't they all talk about it? That's my question. Yeah, that's a mind-boggling that. clip, and it's not getting any attention. The Tribune newspaper uh, reported on it. Um, one long caucus, one delayed official add up the late results from Story County. So it is confirmed. Here's the examiner out of the Washington. Carl Rove, uh, Romney has won Iowa by 14. It just mentions it uh, as a uh, footnote here. And uh, this would have been enough of these votes to push Paul uh, at least into second place. So, so here they are admitting that they moved up Santorum in a gentleman's agreement because they don't know where the guy is. You're supposed to call him in from each little caucus point. You're not supposed to have them all in a truck going somewhere to be counted. Uh, and, and look, look where that came from. That came from what Ames, which is the uh, the center, which is also uh, the place of uh, Iowa State, a big university with lots of young people. And Ron Paul gets about what fifty percent of the young vote or more. I yeah. mean, how can you? How can you? I mean, he was uh, listen to his speech, and I like to be objective. One person on my site because I said I wasn't stumping for Ron Paul, and he says, I don't know what does he need a halo over his head. Well, you know, listen, I want to be objective. If somebody's getting the, a bad. 
a, a shake. If somebody's getting the short end of the stick, I want to be objective enough to say, hey, I'm not one of his supporters, uh, and I don't support any candidate or any party. I'm just uh, trying to be objective, and he's getting a bad shake. I mean, the evidence shows he's getting a bad shake, and it, it, it at least shows they should do an investigation on what happened uh, in Iowa. I mean, they got a guy in a truck. They don't have telephones. They don't have fax machines. Uh, they don't have computers. Well, they're they supposed to call it in. They're supposed to. Uh, look, look, it's amazing. Stay there. We've got to come back and talk more about this, and we'll probably play that clip one more time. I think the guys gave it to us in a really high res. And then our computers are run on a gerbil on a wheel, so it was breaking up a bit. But we're going to try to come back and play that clip clean because it is so amazing. But here's the news articles breaking it down. Our guest is uh, Greg Hunter. Your calls are coming up, too. We're going to look more at Iran and some of this uh, crazy police state news straight ahead with our guests. We'll be right back. HempUSA.org has a revolutionary wonder food for detoxing the body and rebuilding the immune system. Microplant powder can help unclog arteries and soften heart valves while removing heavy metals, virus, fungus, bacteria, and parasites. Plus, it cleans and purifies the blood, lungs, stomach, and colon. Keep your body clean with microplant powder. Visit us at HempUSA.org or call 908-691-2608 today. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Folks, have you lost your power and wanted to simply flip a switch to get the lights back on? If so, this is going to be the most important message you'll ever hear. Because there's never been a better time to get ready for the winter power outages ahead. Here's why. Solar power generators are now available from our friends at Solutions from Science, one of our oldest sponsors. Their emergency backup systems provide life-saving electrical power when you need it most. Unlike gas generators, a solar generator runs quietly, emits no fumes, and produces electricity from the sun. It's like having an electric power plant running quietly in your own home. Whether it's ice storms, brownouts, or blackouts, you'll never have to suffer through painful power outages again. When the power goes out this winter, you'll be ready with a solar power generator from Solutions from Science. Go to MySolarBackup.com for more information. That's MySolarBackup.com or call 877-327-0365. Hi, this is Alex Jones. Did you know that the global elite are now storing non-hybrid seeds in secret storage vaults near the Arctic Circle? Did you know that in a real meltdown, non-hybrid seeds can become more valuable than silver or gold? It's true, seeds have outperformed even gold and silver before in this country, and it's possible that it could even happen again. So our friends at Solutions from Science have put together the perfect mix of non-hybrid seeds. They call it a survival seed bank, and it can produce an endless supply of nutrient-dense food for you and your family. And here's the best part. These seeds have not been genetically modified in any way. And you actually get enough seeds to plant a full acre crisis garden. So visit them today at survivalseedbank.com. That's survivalseedbank.com. Or give them a call at 877-327-0365. That's 877-327-0365. Remember, in a real crisis, non-hybrid seeds are the ultimate barter item. This is Alex Jones for survivalseedbank.com. That's what it sounds like when a burglar kicks in the door of a dark house that looks like no one is home. Don't let your home be the next target. Make it look like someone is home watching television with Fake TV. Fake TV is a small electronic device that makes the same light as a real television. So from outside, it looks like someone is home watching TV. Fake TV plugs in just like a lamp on a timer, but is far more convincing to burglars. Fake TV deters burglars, costs far less than an alarm, and is highly recommended by numerous police departments. Use it anytime you're away from home. To order your Fake TV for only $34.95, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. Each additional fake TV is only $29.95, so get one for you and one for a loved one for safety, security, and peace of mind for both of you. Call 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. FakeTV.com, the burglar deterrent.
By the way, uh, our computer in there can't play files that are as big as our nightly news computers can. That's why that one was stuttering. And so uh, coming up in the next segment, we're going to shrink that file down and, and, and be able to play that clean without a few stutters. And because it was for the nightly news, we had the little joke in the clip where uh, where Carl Rove uh, moves the horse of Ron Paul back. And uh, we have a clip from the Kentucky Derby where they say, and out of nowhere, and it shows Sam Turum just appear uh, there at the front of the pack. Uh, but uh, we also have that clip raw. We're going to post an article uh, at infowars.com. But an amazing clip. Why would Carl Rove publicly talk about how there was a gentleman's agreement? And how did he know this was going on before anybody else did? And why would he talk about it? I mean, is it a case of hiding it in plain view? Uh, I mean, this is a guy well known for manipulating elections. I were you talking to me? Yes, sir. Uh, well, you know, I don't, I don't know. Uh, listen, he, maybe he was feeling his oats. Maybe he thought he was saying enough to where he was covered. I think he said enough to to cast doubt, to cast real doubt. Now, did they manipulate the votes? We don't have actual evidence. We don't have an actual person who was in the room that said, "Yeah, they miscounted the votes." But boy, all the uh, all the uh, evidence around. Uh, uh, supporting that Ron Paul was uh, winning, uh, even on the election night from the, uh, you know, the caucus goers, the polls going inside. I heard one one of the reporters say, well, you know, they go in and they say they're going to vote for one person, but they can always change their mind. Well, then they, then, you know, thousands of people must have changed their mind because he was very early on. He was up by 43 percent and Romney wasn't even I don't even think he was in third place. Very early on, from the very first time they started, uh, uh, you know, announcing, you know, who was uh, in, in, in what place and who was in the lead. And I, so, you know, I don't know, but it, I know one thing. I wish somebody in the mainstream media would just sit down with Carl Rove or Ed Rollins and, you know, all these, uh, you know, uh, Mike Murphy and say, OK, tell us why you don't like Ron Paul, because you have absolutely nothing good to say about him other than that. He's got a lot of young people you'd like to get. Yeah, and that's. Well, that's and that's it. Either they ignore him or when they are forced to cover him, they twist things and attack him, showing the power structure is scared. And that's the question you've been asking. Why are they so scared of him? I want to go to that. But here is the clip uh, of Karl Rove. And again, the Tribune newspaper reported on this, the Washington Examiner. Uh, one long caucus, one delayed official uh, add up to late results from Story County. And there at Ames uh, with that big university. Oops. They had to put all those different precincts in a truck. It disappears, and Carl Rove doesn't know where it is, but they had a gentleman's agreement, and Santorum moved up. I mean, this is incredible. Here it is. Romney is going to win the Iowa caucuses by 14 votes. By 14 How votes. solid is your evidence? Uh, your, your... From, from a pretty good, reliable source. Uh, they made the correction in Story County, which moved it from an 18-point margin for Santorum to a four-point, a four-vote margin for Santorum. Clinton County, right. they have the one outstanding precinct in the state, and that it will show an 18-vote uh, victory in that precinct for for. Mitt Romney, which will give him a statewide victory of 14 votes over... And over from out of nowhere, Trump. it's Rick Santorum. So, I, I don't understand. You're saying that they basically have come to an agreement as to what the, the vote's going to be the, in Clinton? The, the, the uh, official, the person who's got the official piece of paper is missing. But the Romney and Santorum people who are monitoring it agree on what the number is. They apparently have rounded up the representatives of the camps who have agreed, yes, we were there. We know exactly what the vote total was, and we both agree to, uh, agree to what it was. All right, and Greg Hunter of USA Watchdog, investigative journalist, joins us. This is a short segment. We're going to break. We're going to come back and cover a well, bunch of other think, issues I, with you. But, but uh, uh, I mean, continue with your breakdown of this. Well, two things. Uh, number one, they said, well, we, 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 he said first Romney and uh, Santorum. Then they rounded up the representatives of the camp, like as if they talked to other people. They didn't, I don't think. That's not what it sounds like to me. That's number one. Number two, as an investigative reporter, I always had to uh, uh, make a decision to protect a source or not protect a source because you always want to name your sources. And if somebody is talking about, hey, wow, there's this new report that says uh, depleted uranium will cause cancer and I'll lose my job at the Defense Department and they'll prosecute me for you know, being a traitor, then I have to protect that source. Okay? And you, you want to make sure you protect But if sources. it's somebody in a public yes. election, you Why? want to know about the good old boy meeting, put the source out there. What's the source? You know, you know uh, and, and listen, uh, uh, Chris Wallace is the son of Mike Wallace, who's done all kinds of investigative reporting, knows better than that. And you say from a pretty good source, well, what source is that? Why didn't he say what source is that? 
Who's the source? There's no reason you would protect that source. Who's the source? Oh, just a pretty good source. Uh, really? Who? No, they were just going to let him have the inside baseball there and, yes. and hide it in plain view so that we don't know to who to uh, go talk to that source as well. They're just hoarding the sources because they don't want us to know. Who knows if it's if the source is, uh, you know, who knows who knows who the source is? Well, that's a sign they don't want you to know who the source is. Yeah, there's more hanky panky. Stay there. Let's finish up on the election looking forward uh, and then more on Iran and uh, phone calls with our guest straight ahead. But. And, of course, then you got the Republican strategist the, 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 the day before saying the insiders have got it fixed. I mean, <laughs> we're on the march. The empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Did you ever think you'd be where you are a decade into the 21st century? Record foreclosure rates for homes, if not yours, your neighbors. Thankful for the unemployment check since you were laid off and placing your child's name on the angel tree in hopes of a Christmas gift, along with thousands of other Americans. Did you ever think your future would feel this out of control? The fact is, in all this craziness, there's only one thing you can control, your greatest dependency, your food supply. Make 2012 the year you take control by getting prepared. eFoods Direct introduces the best way to build your food supply in the 21st century. Get a 21-day supply of food free with purchase. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Take back control in 2012. Call 800-409-5633 or go to eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. Remember, you can bet your life on eFoods Direct. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. When you're out on the road... The last place you want to be is on the road. But if the unfortunate happens, you'll be glad you were wearing diamond gussets. There's a place down in Tennessee Where they make blue diamond gusset jeans They so pride in every stitch Guarantee you love the way they fit Put a diamond gusset in the crotch where you need it most. Blue diamond gussets got it. Others don't. We turn jeans inside out. Diamond gusset jeans. Made in the USA with unparalleled quality. Our Defender motorcycle jeans combine gusset comfort with Kevlar protection so you can ride all day with confidence. Order yours at gusset.com. Diamond gusset jeans got it. Others don't. We're going back to our guest here in a moment and then um, into some other important issues and news. I want to get his take on in your calls here today. The toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. I know we've had callers holding this before he joined us, but uh, he can certainly talk about pretty much any issue out there. He's a very well-researched uh, gentleman. But if you guys bring up kind of side topics, I won't even really have anything to say because I, I mainly focused on the economy, what's happening in Iran, uh, the unfolding police state, and the rest of it. Uh, every few months, I've always done this in my 17 years on air, I do satirical uh, skits. Global Love Cop, a guy dressed up in a stormtrooper outfit telling you how great the police state is. Uh, or I did a thing with John Corzine, you know, saying I'm not going to tell you where the money went. 
you know, with a, with a banker top hat dressed up like the Monopoly man. And I've done a new one. Uh, it's uh, up at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We did it on the nightly news last night. Uh, Cobra commander for president. And I'm illustrating in the piece that our government's doing everything that cartoon villains would do. Secret arrest, torture, uh, preemptive war. And so Cobra commander announces he's going to run for president. And I got the idea of seeing the trailer for the new Cobra car, uh, movie coming out, which is really just a military recruitment film, uh, where um, Cobra, this international terrorist group, takes over the White House. And so I'm basically speaking from the White House. I, I see commenters there saying, Alex, where did you get the giant Cobra throne? Folks, that's blue screen. I, I, somebody mailed me two Cobra Commander outfits. Because I'd done a joke about Cobra Commander a few months ago. So I thought, well, I've got these. I see this. I'll do a skit with this. And some people, it's got 852 likes to 48 dislikes. And some people are in there, uh, you know, since it went up last night. And they're saying, Alex, this, this is a joke. You shouldn't joke around. Really, Rush Limbaugh didn't joke around on his TV show and do satire. Uh, really, uh, Anderson Cooper didn't get a half-naked woman with him. Uh, on his news show to get ratings. That's not what I'm doing. When something satire once every two, three, four months, it's clearly that. And of course, that's just a talking point to attack us. Uh, most people, I don't know, I, I guess 20 to 1, yeah, 20 to 1 or so, uh, like it. It's funny, it's goofy, and it's gallows humor. We can't just sit up here and be serious about this all day or we go crazy. Uh, now, we do have a serious video on the NDAA that's got close to a half million views that I shot from home right after Obama uh, signed it uh, there on New Year's Eve, so no one would notice. And uh, I have a new one that we also uh, just uh, aired today and uh, posted t titled, The NDAA is a hoax, you cannot legalize tyranny. Marbury versus Madison, anything repugnant to the Constitution is null and void, any law. The, could they have laws again saying black people are slaves? No. But, and if they tried to pass those laws, we would stand against them. They're illegitimate. In fact, let's shift gears into the NDAA, because I know you've written about this over at your USA Watchdog uh, news site. When you look at this, when you see this kind of stuff happening, why do you think, same question, why are they cheating Ron Paul, clearly, in the coverage and how much time he gets in debates, uh, all sorts of evidence of, 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 of fraud in Iowa. Why are they doing that to Ron Paul, but also why are they saying they want to censor the Internet now and validating our position and proving we were right? Why are they uh, getting so naked about their tyranny, so brazen, so hubris-filled, or is it an attempt to flee forward and is it desperation? Why are they saying, we'll secretly arrest citizens, we'll have worldwide combat, including in America, we'll end posse commentatus? Why is that happening, Greg Hunter? Well, I'll answer your question with a question. What are they getting ready for? What are they doing at uh, checkpoints in Florida? I think they're practicing. What are they doing with the FEMA camps? I think they're going to need uh, camps because uh, I think we're headed for a, an economic uh, a collapse. And I'm not the only one that said that. There's a guy by the name of Ray Dalio who runs Bridgewater, Bridgewater uh, Associates or Capital. I can't remember. It's a big hedge for Bridgewater. It's an 80 to $100 billion hedge fund. His name is Ray Dalio. And several months ago, he said he thinks the collapse, an economic financial collapse, will happen at the end of 12 or the beginning of 13. Now, he also thought that we'd have a collapse in 2008, which we did. Uh, I also said in 2008, in March, all the banks were in trouble. I've been saying that for, for months before, that all of the banks were in trouble. This is in March of 2008, and of course, we didn't have the collapse until, what, October? And so, but he looked at me like, at CNN like I had two heads, like, what do you mean? Well, as it turns out, you know, uh, you know, they they did collapse. Well, my question is, what are they getting ready for? And I think they're getting ready for some sort of collapse. And if they bomb Iran like Rick Santorum wants to do, like some, many of the neocons want to do, it's not going to be as simple as people think. Can our Navy defeat the Iranian Navy without question? Uh, our Navy is, the, is probably the best in the world bar none, but that doesn't mean that our Navy won't take some big hits. I mean, the Chinese, I'm sure, have sold Iran these uh, missiles that go, that are shipped, uh, carrier-destroying missiles that fly about three feet off the water and can take, take out a carrier. 
at a few hundred miles. And, you know, the Persian Gulf is only a few hundred miles wide at, at its widest point, maybe, and maybe three or four hundred miles long. It's not that big, really. It's not an ocean. It's not like hiding out in the Indian Ocean. And uh, so, so Ken, the other thing is, is that if we if we have this warfare with Iran, they're not going to pull up, you know, the 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 uh, the, the USS uh, Iranian, excuse me, the uh, Iranian, you know, battleship and have a broadside. I mean, we're not going to be doing that. And they don't have aircraft carriers and they don't have battleships and, and Aegis missile cruisers. Uh, what they do have are guys in speedboats with RPGs and torpedoes and asymmetrical warfare. And how much asymmetrical warfare does it take for people who own a ships full of oil to say, ah, da, 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 mm, 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 yeah, I'm not going to take my ship through this 30 miles straight. So even if they don't shut it down completely, and, and of course, uh, you know, uh, could, you know, the former Secretary Cohen said that, that you know, they cannot shut down the strait. Well, maybe they can, but they can sure slow down some oil flow. And what is that? Uh, anywhere from about 30 to 40 percent of the world's oil a year. And it's they're not. And they've been working on this for a while. Hold on just a minute. I'm just going to get rid of that. They've been uh, working on this uh, for a while. Uh, you know, they've been practicing. Yeah, what this is an Iraq who was under a 15 years of sanctioned and had been oh. carpet bombed before that oh. and, 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 and an unpopular dictator. The Iranians up against U.S., British, and Israeli funding, as you know, in the tens of billions, over 50 billion total, U.S. gave them 35 billion, uh, and even U.S. CIA advisors and satellite help, over a million, what, and a half Iranians died, 300,000 Iraqis. I mean, the Iranians ha do have their you-know-what together. Uh, well, listen, they're going to fight. They've been planning this for a long time. And what I want to say to people is, hey, listen, if it's going to be a, uh, you know, something that is in the interest of the world and interest of uh, you, the United States of America, and we're going to go to war, it's not going to be just the Iranians. The, they, I, I said this earlier that the Chinese have publicly stated in no uncertain terms that they will side with Iran, even if it means uh, World War III. They said that on Chinese uh, television. It's on my site. It's well, they said it about, site. exactly, they said it about Pakistan, too. I mean, this is really making the war lines draw and we're all run by hedge fund managers like Corzine who makes 40 to 1 bets with other people's money uh, I mean these guys are in control but I think they they are irrationally exuberant I think they are clinically insane well listen I think it's the you know the, the supposedly of the seven deadly sins the sin of pride is the worst and the most destructive why because when you're prideful and you know when you think that you're invincible uh, boy, you're setting yourself up to be knocked off that fine white charger, and you're setting yourself up to get a big pie in the face. And our economy is fragile at best. I mean, if nothing else happened from here on out, maybe, maybe we could grow our way out of it, but I don't think we can. And that's why all the military top generals in the U.S. and Israel and England are saying don't do it, but they're going ahead with it. Why are all the generals, except for one guy they found, uh, Dempsey now, and, 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 they, oh, and the former head of the Israeli military, the former Mossad head, who they had to get rid of because they're not for this. Why, from your research, I know you've covered this a lot, why are they telling them don't do it? Why are well, they calling they it a catastrophe? They know it's going to be a mess. I mean, Alex, how, how long can Americans uh, stand 8 or 10 or $12 oil in fuel lines like we had in the 70s? You know, in the 70s, we had a really strong country. We didn't have but, what, a half a billion, uh, a half a trillion dollar deficit maybe in the 70s, $300 billion in the 70s. We could take a hit. In the 90s, we could take a hit. We're not set up to take a hit. And we had this massive bailout where the uh, Federal Reserve, which incidentally didn't get hardly any coverage, uh, the Government Accountability Office nailed $16.2 trillion that got pumped out to bail out uh, domestic and foreign banks, uh, domestic and foreign country, companies. Uh, who knows how much got paid back? They say most of it's been paid back, uh, defined most. And uh, you know, we can't audit the Fed, so who knows what happened? Who do they pick as a winner and who do they pick as a loser? Evidently, they picked MF Global as a loser. But anyway, the longest short of it is, 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 is they don't, the generals know that this is a giant mess. This is not going to be like, you know, Force A and Force B meeting each other on the battlefield. Oh, no, no. This is going to be asymmetrical warfare. This is going to be, uh, you know, Hezbollah is going to be turned loose in the north, uh, you know, uh, which is, I think, part of the reason why they want to knock out Syria. Uh, Hamas is going to be turned loose in the south. Israel is going to be under, you know, major attack. Uh, the other thing is, and I was thinking about this, is that there, at this point, if Israel does and i think they do it's been widely reported they have two to three hundred nuclear weapons well then we can't let israel fall into the hands of hamas or hezbollah now can we they can't get a hold they can't be overrun
If they are overrun, then who gets control of the two or 300 nuclear weapons that, that Israel reportedly possesses? Well, we're kind of stuck there. No, the elite are causing a giant crisis, exactly as you said, to distract from the economic implosion, which is actually a mega bank takeover. I think they're going to have the implosion anyway. I think they know mathematically at this point we might as well print money. We're going to have the implosion. Let's buy time as long as we can to prepare. Uh, that's what I think. And other people say the same thing. I mean, we never fixed you know, this whole... No, no, uh, the military's all being told get ready for civil unrest. How do you add to the equation 1.5 million in Instant checks, average 2.1 guns bought. That's over 3 million guns, an all time record sold in the month of December. And that's just through registered gun shops, not just the private seller market, a reseller market. And, and they did a survey I saw where the number one reason they're buying guns is fear of unrest, collapse, and not trusting the government. I mean, what message is that to these banksters that run the government that the public just bought 3 million guns in one month because they don't trust you? Well, I, I think the military is not going to all line up and get on board with this. I just don't see everybody in the military saying, yeah, this is okay. We'd like to have a military government. I mean, listen, you know, our military has grown up under the flag of the United States and the U.S. Constitution. I think m the overwhelming majority of the people in the military believe in uh, civil rights and believe in the U.S. Constitution. That's why they go to war and they die. And I've long, I was saying this at CNN, and I think it made people mad. And I said, hey, you know, in this whole, you know, uh, Iran-Iraq conflict, uh, excuse me, uh, Afghanistan, a <laughs> Freudian slip, Afghanistan and Iraq conflict that the only people are suffering are military uh, service people and their families. Everybody else is out drinking their lattes and having a good time and getting bailouts. And the only people that are coming home with their limbs torn off and people coming home in boxes at Dover are the people in the military. And listen, I, you know, one thing I, I got to say is that if this is such a national security, uh, uh, such national security importance, then I think everybody should should sacrifice. We should have a tax. We should have the draft. I think Charlie Rangel was right to say, hey, we should have a draft. We shouldn't be paying contractors 150000 Incidentally, you know, we took all of our troops out of uh, uh, Iraq, supposedly, but yet I think the number is something in the neighborhood of 70,000 contractors left behind. Are we really out of Iraq? We just just up and left? I don't I don't think so. Let me ask so, you this question, and then I want to go to some calls. Okay. The the ruling class acts like they're not worried about anything anymore. I mean, as you know, twenty something years ago, they wouldn't let the troops use depleted uranium. Now they just tell them, "Don't worry about it. It's good for you." Uh, they tell the TSA oh, I did a big, workers. I did a big thing on that. I did a big thing on that. Well, that's why I brought it up to you. Yeah, I saw it. But but I mean, here they are. Now telling TSA workers, I've had TSA people tell me, there's no radiation, it's not bad for me. And then I see all these top scientists in the news oh, saying it's bad, the, 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 the body yeah. scanners. So I'm, I'm just saying the level of deception, even for the minions that are in the system, what do you think's going on? Go ahead. I think they're getting, listen, they're practicing, listen, this is, a, this is like a big ship. I mean, you don't take a, a, and turn a big ship like a, a motorboat. And I think the changes coming to America are going to be vast. And, of course, the status quo, quo wants to hang on to power. And they don't really want to fix anything. And this is why, let's come right back around to Ron Paul. Listen, they sold liar loans. Okay, now, people like Rush Limbaugh, I, I listened to him on the, on the air the other day, and I think he's an intensely, uh, uh, wonderfully intelligent man. And for him to come up with what he's saying is absolutely uh, you know, uh, outrageous and uh, repugnant for a man of his intelligence to say, well, the government made all these bankers uh, you know, make these loans. You know, we, uh, the best frauds were a nugget of truth surrounded by a big load of you know, crap. And yes, maybe the government did want bankers to have poor people to be have more access to capital, but they didn't tell them to have liar loans. They didn't tell them to take those liar loans, which were fraudulent, and package them up into securities. Oh, and they didn't have the paperwork, uh, so they lost them, according to the robo-signing, where they were manufacturing the promissory note. You think you pay for your house in 30 years. You do not. You pay for well, your sure, house. Well, sure, it was the mega banks on record that lobbied government to make those changes and create yeah. that big auction market. Yeah. But they didn't. They couldn't lobby fraud. When you package securities up, you got to have the promissory notes in the securities. No, I understand. The buck stops with the banks and the people certifying those loans. We have, we have massive, giant fraud uh, that happened uh, to Americans. It was so big they changed the accounting rules in 2009, and they're still changed. And that that the Financial Accounting Standards Board (FASB) said you can value assets, real estate, mortgage-backed securities at whatever value you think they'll be in the future. Now the IRS does not do that. 
Oh, you want to pay off this loan with your house? Oh, you want to me to value it in the year 2040? No. What, what's the value today? It's called mark-to-market accounting. And if they did mark-to-market accounting, see, I suspect all the big banks are insolvent. And here, prove me wrong. Go back to mark-to-market accounting. It, it value the stuff on, on your books. And I think that if it's such a big problem that they can't print enough money to hand out to the banks, and incidentally, they handed out what nearly $200 billion in, in forgiveness and uh, money through Fannie and Freddie just to one bank, uh, 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 Bank of America, last year. Amazing. Let's jam in a call right now. It's just total insanity. Hyperinflation on the way. George in Pennsylvania, you're on with our guests. You got any comments or questions? Three quick ones, and I'll listen off air. Uh, one of them was uh, that I had talked with you before about having people that were voting in New Hampshire register with some place that they were voting for Ron Paul so we can avoid uh, this issue. At least have some people that are willing to say, yes, I will stand up in court and say that I voted for him just so we can take some of these uh, fraudsters to court. Uh, the other real quick one, 14th Amendment says if the loans are made in the government's name, the government is not responsible for them. I think that uh, this has all been fraudulent. I think the 14th Amendment protects us. I think we can throw all this stuff out. Yeah, and that's right. We've been signed on yeah. to these derivatives that we don't owe. We, it's one correct. You're correct, that, sir. So the answer is yes, you're correct. One other They're thing fraudulent. Is that, uh, yeah, the, the, the lack of support, I think, is partially our fault. We haven't gotten out there and gotten the information out. I've been handing out your information and other people's information as much as I can. I think we need to have a political action committee to, to try to defend all these uh, things that Ron... I'll tell you what, about. that's a good point. We're going to break, Greg, but uh, start answering it now. What are ideas to try to stop uh, election fraud from your research? Well, there's a, get a, why are we having election fraud? The, the, the reason why is we have two corporate candidates, which is Romney and Obama, okay? Period. Even o, starch Obama supporters say, hey, he's Wall Street's man, right? Even Michael Moore is has been saying negative things. Stay there. Let's finish President on the Obama. other side. So finish that point. We'll, we'll be right back. Introducing a diabetes breakthrough, an easy, natural, organic way to bring relief to diabetics. Introducing MDS Forte, a concentrated super strength extract formulated for those who are looking for relief. What can MDS Forte do for you? MDS Forte reduces glucose levels safely and effectively, reduces cholesterol and triglyceride levels, increases HDL or good cholesterol while reducing LDL or bad cholesterol. MDS Forte reduces A1C, improves eyesight and circulation to the limbs, and helps with weight loss. Is non-toxic, caffeine-free, 100% natural, 100% organic, and comes with a 100% money back guarantee waiting for the side effects disclaimers with mds forte there are none order a 25-day treatment of mds forte by calling 213-405-5355 213-405-5355 or visit bestbloodsupport.com that's bestbloodsupport.com for mds forte a diabetes breakthrough Hello, I'm Alex Jones. Myself, my family, the InfoWars.com team want to relay to you and your families that we are intensifying our efforts against the globalist on every front. InfoWars.com is leading the fight against the technocrats. But we can't do that without your help. By getting the films, bumper stickers, and t-shirts at InfoWars.com, you will wake up people in your area and support our operation as we move to the next level level. We need your help to spread the word like never before. They wish to hide themselves during this tectonic battle between the forces of freedom and darkness. You are the response to the globalist technocrats and their program of global eugenics dehumanization and ultimate extermination. The war is here. It's an info war. The spirit of 1776 versus the mindset of 1984. As we age, we lose both strength and muscle mass. Undamaged whey protein from grass-fed cows is nature's most powerful food to gain back lost muscle. Virtually all whey protein powders or drinks have been damaged during processing or are high in sugar. This damaged whey causes a significant loss in the ability of the body to build new muscle proteins. The high sugar content will stop all the benefits of your growth hormone from causing muscle repair. By giving your body easily absorbed, undamaged whey, free of added sugar, you may be able to gain back lost muscle and strength. One World Whey is truly undamaged whey protein powder free of added sugar. Both young and elderly are reporting increases in muscle strength and size without any additional exercise. 
Go to OneWorldWay.com. That's OneWorldWhey.com to read or hear some impressive testimonies to this effect. Or call 888-988-3325. That's 888-988-3325. Couple notes here. Don't forget, I'll be back tonight with the nightly news, seven o'clock. We have the author of Dr. Mary's Monkeys that uh, breaks down the government's development and the documents of cancer viruses as a weapon, fast-acting cancer. Uh, he'll be uh, joining us. We'll cover a lot of the news we didn't get to in some of the breaking news. Also, uh, it's out of print. And I told Charlotte Isbury, okay, well, don't put out the phone book size. We'll put out another abridged and updated deliberate dumbing down how the globalists have dumbed down education by design. It's out. It's available. She's joining us tomorrow. The deliberate dumbing down of America revised and abridged available at Infowars.com. Still a very thick book full of documents and a noble lie, Oklahoma City, proving that that was a false flag attack conclusively available at Infowars.com as well. This stuff is a, a stake to a vampire's heart, both these pieces of uh, in information warfare material. Uh, going back to our guest, uh, Greg Hunter of USAWatchdog.com. Uh, Greg, w what are some of your ideas to, to, to counter election fraud? Well, first of all, you're up against people like uh, you and I are up against a big, big mountain. But the mountain is shrinking and our mountain is rising. That's the that's the good news. The bad news is President Obama goes on 60 minutes at the beginning of December in front of Steve Croft and says, well, the banks did unethical things, but they didn't do anything uh, illegal. Of course, Steve Croft, who makes five or six million a year in the uh, mainstream media, didn't ask, hey, well, exactly what unethical things did they do? And listen, according to. You know, to William Black, who's a uh, former, uh, you know, regulator, banking regulator and uh, a professor of economics and law, says they packaged liar loans. They sold liar loans. They packaged them in securities. They got a, a, a tax exemption. They uh, they they raided these securities many, many times without any paperwork. And then they created the paperwork and foreclosure fraud. And there's fraud, 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 fraud. And nothing's been done wrong. It's a huge, massive problem in the way of the savings and loan crisis, they, they basically successfully convicted a thousand financial elites. They gave out 10,000 indictments. Do you know how many people have been indicted and convicted in, in the wake of this crisis? Uh, zero. None. No, it's a green light to take money. Look at MF Global now. And we've got cases of Bank of America and others taking houses. Not only where they don't own it or have the deed, but the house is paid for in cash for a decade. I mean, and this is getting to the point of just mega criminality. Yes, and it's and, and our you know and Eric, where's Eric Holder? And you know what? I don't want to be against uh, oh, the Democrats because there is not a dime's worth of difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. Obama's a corporate candidate, and some of his far left supporters are like, hey, even Rachel Maddow came out against Obama for citing the NDAA. Listen, she understands what's going on. Uh, whether you like her politics or not, she gets what's going on. Anybody that does journalism, you know, wants a fair shake and be able to to speak their mind. And this NDAA is a slippery slope. Yes, I know they say it's Al Qaeda, but the president has an exemption. And many scholars and many uh, people, including Ron Paul and others, have said, "Hey, this is the beginning of uh, what martial law here in America." So we have a giant uphill battle, and the and the, the elections fraud exists because there is not a free and in independent media we have not a free and independent well said media. We well said we're out of time media. greg hunter amazing you've got a lot of energy and got a lot of great reports there at your site you really cut through the clutter thank you so much for joining us I look forward to talking to you in the future thanks for having me on you bet i got to a lot of calls today folks and i would go into overdrive and take more but i've got to kind of keep my strength to be able to do the nightly news tonight because i did crack my sternum in a weightlifting accident as you know last weekend and now it's healing and getting excruciatingly painful to even breathe or talk. Uh, but uh, I will be back tomorrow uh, because I'm sure not going to lay in bed going through this pain. I'll, and I'm not going to have surgery and I'm not going to wrap my chest or any of that. Um, but uh, pray for its speedy recovery, though, because it is getting it is getting worse and worse. Um, but uh, that's it for this transmission. Get our video uh, about the NDAA being a hoax at Infowars.com and get it out to everybody. Wake folks up. Thank you for listening to GCN.
Visit GCNlive.com today. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. 